All right. Previously in the God Breaking, a group of adventurers, having been transported to the divine realm of Elysium, the plain that sits at the foot of Mount Celestia itself, um, have been trying to figure out how to make their way across this massive, expansive, and um, desolate, currently desolate plain. Elysium was once a place of wonder, uh, filled with life and civilization, where incarnates and angels and celestials and arcanites all existed at the will of the gods in, in harmony and um, with unified purpose. But ever since the, the great invasion, um, the thing that broke the heavens, that has all changed. Elysium is now a wasteland, a a desolate, almost dead zone of incredible expanse. Um, and the entire time that you guys have been traveling across for several days now and covering um, to what to you must be thousands and thousands of miles, um, you've only met a handful of living creatures. Uh, one of them being, of course, um, the the newly fle the newly forged or newly um, christened goddess Achelia, um, who you knew all on Earth. Um, another being her her trusty pet nutmeg, a uh, coatl, and aside from the demons that you guys have met uh, encountered and the tree that Renly um, animated. The only other creature that you've really um, interacted with is the incarnate Shimbal. You guys met him, um, you heard his cries for help, and um, went to go, um, to go see what was going on, and he, um, he told you a little bit of his plight, of the plight of his, his race. The incarnates are are born of divine thoughts. They, um, throughout eons past, as um, a god would formulate a thought um, of, of such purpose and, and focus, um, oftentimes here in the heavens, they would manifest themselves as actual physical creatures. Um, all these incarnates, as they're called, would gather and create uh, and, and you know, and build villages and have commerce and interact and at, at the service of the gods, of course. All of them originally had a purpose. But now, um, with the gods gone from this plane, the incarnates have kind of been left to their own devices. The demons who still ex inhabit this plane have been hunting them, feeding upon them. And Shimbal um, had been um, forced uh, and uh, I, I don't think you guys found out why yet, but forced to work on behalf of the demons and had alerted um, a spe specifically nasty um, houndsman demon named Harrow of your location. And Harrow, the houndmaster, has been hunting you down. Um, very penitent and apologetic, Shimble begs your forgiveness. Um, he was forced to do that which he did not want to do and uh, when you guys found out and you heard the baying of the hounds you fled and made your way into a small uh, rock enclosure that Adis had set up inside of a of a hill basically and as I recall that's where we ended up last uh, last session so you guys are we, go on we also woke up um the meteor swarmed the area outside, sent several, if not most, of the things running towards the horizon, and then we opened the door to that creature. That's right. That's right. Because you had sent. Um, there were a lot of other demons. There were Baylors and and um, um, the, the the shrieks that you guys had fought against. Um, you guys, you you drew them off further away, but you called out. You taunted Harrow. Um, Adis had sky written. Um, his challenge. So you guys are currently. 
<clears throat> and then me and the most burst out through the door. If I remember right. One second. Uh, what'd you say? When me and Amos had burst out the door. Okay, so you guys had rushed out. Yeah, I was doing all Jack Dragon form, and me and Deimos went out the door. We were ready to kill somebody. Okay, so I which... Remember it. All right, so which dragon form had you taken on? I forget. Uh, Nebby. Nebby. Hey, Deimos. Oh, you, didn't put the, you didn't put the mod back on. No, I forgot to, I forgot to add it. Check out the sky. You see the penis of my dick? <laughs> it's just, wait, the wait, picture of my it? dick? I spot a picture of you. It's, st it's, still, it's still there. I'm still concentrating on it. <laughs> That's how we taunted him. <laughs> With a big <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the real thing. We told him Elwins was bigger. He was mad. I suggested we write that uh, he, he's only big when his hounds are around. Yeah. Okay. And then I realized, thanks to Tremosens, he probably has no dick because he looks like this, and parts of him seem to be have fallen off, like his nose. So not his <laughs> dick. So this might might be personal. Okay. So you guys are bursting out of your rock enclosure. So inside this rocky area here. Crags and rocks and jagged stuff. All right, um, you guys come charging out. And Deimos, you are still um, bedecked only in your holy tidy whities. Yeah, the the only thing that I've been doing is casting my um, my spell armor on him and me, like the psychogens. Um, but he's literally, um, it's like mage armor, so he's literally running around in his tidy whities and his shield. <laughs> okay, sounds good to me. Alright, what were the rest of you guys doing? Uh, I thought we were fighting this guy. I know, but where were you? Oh, I, I threw a meteor storm out the, the little hole, so I guess I would be right on Deimos' oh, shoulder. Yeah, this is after that. Because remember, yeah. we did the meteors and then he burst out when he came up and started talking to you. Yeah, I'm falling up behind Deimos and I'll try and make sure that the last of the oil is like buffed on his shoulders. And I'm like, you go do your thing. All right. Wait, so we had time to cast one spell before we ran out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be real shame if... Yeah, because I transformed to break us up. So you all kind of... As it opens up, have thing kind of like it. Okay, so that's what the map looks like. Should I stay back just in case uh, one of the hounds comes at Akalia? Should I stay back here just in case? Now, did we just wake up? Like, it's been, it's been maybe like five we, minutes or so. Oh, okay. We, Never mind. We've been awake long enough to poke holes in the hill so we can look around and cast a colossal fucking Elwin and Lord Meteor Storm. And then did something. Um, when they cast a spell to lure all the Baylors away, um, and then we waited for them to leave, and then this dude looked up and saw, I know you were there. Come out now, rah, rah. and so me and you were like, alright, fuck this dude, we're gonna kick his ass. Okay, um, Adis, you're, you're clipping to me? Uh, can you, like, reset your connection to Discord or something like that? Yeah. So. Alright, so you guys come bursting out, let's go, so you see this imposing houndmaster, his name's Harrow, and as he comes out, you hear him just, like, just growling on his own. Arr, arr, I'm going to consume your souls and tear the heart out of that fledgling goddess behind you. She'll be my bitch. Oh, oh. Guys, 
I see I see a thing I can make armor out of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with me, you sir. I just need you to stay right there for a second. Alright. So let's go ahead and roll initiative as you come you guys come roaring out of that that little cave. So, like, one of the things, like, are we able to, like, eventually, obviously not right now, it's probably a lot of work, but just for personal, just out of character stuff, just for coolness, is it possible to find out, like, hierarchy order and stuff? Of who? Well, pretty much just, like, the whole demons type of stuff, like, pretty much to see, like, like, obviously, I'm pretty sure, like, those guys down, like, Meritorial Plan are probably, probably like, the first level or second at, at most. Pretty much to see if we're actually like taking out anything of note, or we're just taking out like small fries. Um. So, the the shrikes, um, obviously that you've been encountering ha are of the the lowest level demons that you've been coming up against. Um, Harrow here is. Let's see. Go ahead and roll me a. I kind of want to check what this be. I'll ro roll perception. You guys, you guys are familiar enough with fighting demons that you've you've you know enough to gather some indicators okay what'd you say can I tell if this guy's from hell this is a demon so he's not from hell okay, okay. um there, there are many, there are a myriad of different races and species that come from the abyss. Um, probably too many to number, since the, the abyss has so many levels. And likewise, hell is populated with a large variety of different creatures, and they get permutated and changed as they develop and as they, um, they engage in battle. And so, most demons are different from each other. Harrow um, seems to be a creature of, of significance. Um, um, let's see what would he be on the on the hierarchy. He's not. He's maybe a, like a demon commander or something like that. Probably on the level. Scale of one to ten, he's a two, while the shrikes are a one. <laughs> <laughs> no, on a scale of one to ten, with shrikes being uh, in this realm anyway, with shrikes being a, a two, um, and Asmodeus being you know the eleven, um, this guy would be. A solid five. Okay. Yeah, he's he's a commander. He's commander level. You know, he's actually honestly probably on the same, on the same ranking and um, authority as like Clovis, and um, yeah, Clovis because Clovis was a demon. Oh, I hated Clovis. Okay, yeah. That was the worst. Yeah, that puts it into perspective. Okay. Okay, sweet. Sorry, this is just for a personal thing. No, nope. that's that's where you are. That's cool. Yeah, for puzzle things, we can just say label him like douchebag. Okay. I should probably I should probably write an actual demon hierarchy out, so I'll figure that out. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys come charging out, and Harrow on his turn, he because he outrolled all your initiative, you see him um, stand there, um, arch his back, his his head um, kicked back, and him howling high into the sky. <laughs> and as that happens. You see behind him, um, um, spawning from from the shadows around him. Um, the, you know the, the the snippets of of black black scale and uh, bone that's protruding from his back and spinal um, black scale and spine and bone from, from his back come dropping off a number of these hounds. These hounds that have been Haunting you. The actually, you guys have really only encountered one of them, I think. Back up, and Lee, he's about to get hard. We were right. He really only has a dick with his house around. Oh my god, we were right. Jeez, I am disappointed in you. Okay. So the hounds all spawn like that. 
There we go. James Demon Dong, go fish. And then let's see here. He has. Okay, so he's got decent speed. Okay, he comes rushing in. As he does, you can see the um, and the ho the hounds likewise begin to mobilize behind him. Um, you can see that as he charges in, there's like a an uh, a a dark purplish kind of mist and aura kind of flowing off of him. Um, you can it might be some kind of pheromone or or scented. Uh, Scented icor or something that just begin, that just kind of pervades the area around him. As he comes into contact with the first creature, he sees this large void dragon. You guys, Are all under the effect of his aura. Oh, gross! Which is not technically poisoned. It's, it's it has the all the same effects of it being poisoned, though. Okay, and then he charges in and targets Nebularos. Two raking claw attacks. Both hits. Gashing at you, his claws dripping in this the same purplish vile um, ooze that he he exudes around him. His hounds come charging in as well. This first one come, um, attacks you, Nebularos. And let's see, you are within pack tactics of it, so it has advantage. Oh wait, wait one second here. Um. Uh, Nebularos, Aedas, make a constitution saving throw. I forgot to do this. Okay, you're fine. Right. Okay, so that hound misses you. This next hound comes charging in here. Um, they're quite fast. Um, it goes onto this side of you. And it's likewise going to attack you with advantage. That will be a crit. And for some reason, it continues to attack. And it misses, so it stops. All right. Your turn, Deimos. You see these hounds jumping on top of you, this dragon in front of you, just leaping off the ground, um, grasping onto it with, onto Nebularos's, um, body with their, their claws and scraping and biting and tearing at him. And Harrow in front of you just howling and snarling, his frothing, this purplish icor. What do you do? <sighs> Gotta protect this big old dragon boy. Um, I will... <clears throat> Tell this guy that like don't don't mess his body up too much. I need I need certain parts of his body for stuff. Don't ask questions. But I'm gonna start running up uh, Nebularos, and uh, I'm gonna get on top of him and I'm grab these okay. two hounds off of him, and just like you, you hear actually it's kind of weird at the top of Mount Celestine, uh, you hear this like clapping these cheers and then like I just like do this I grab them both by the necks do like a back bit and just like pile drive them to the ground. Okay, so what you're grabbing both of them? Both of them, yeah. Like Alright, so... Alright, so go ahead and do... Uh, roll the two grapples. Grapple checks. Oh, this should be an advantage. Oh, I'm poisoned. Never mind. Uh, you should be fine. Let me see here real quick. I think I got double advantage and one minus. That's the... Alright, you're fine. So you grab onto them. 
yeah, so I'll, I'll use one of my attacks, and I guess, like, the bonus action grab the other one, but since I'm heisted, um, like, so I, I'm jumping off and just smash them into the ground, and then, like, the, the, I don't know, the people's patty cake, and I'm just smashing these boys together as I, like, crunch them to the ground. Okay. I'm off of this boy. These guys are right. like dicks. All right, so go ahead and roll, roll your unarmed damage. As you're, you're going to hit them regardless. Um, as you as you grab them, grab them both, and you jump down to the ground. I'll see you land kind of over here, and just pile drive their heads both into the ground. All right. Um, also, I heard. I don't, want to, I don't know if my damage is right on this because I, I didn't change anything, but. That's your yeah. It's your normal unarmed damage. Okay. Okay. Sweet, sweet. And then since I grappled him, I'll get my. I'll do the, whatever feet thing. Just smash him twice more against the ground. Go ahead. Like it's looking. It's looking pretty cool. So. Yeah. Uh, should I just roll attacks against him first, or? Yeah. Now, um, now that you've got them, and yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll attacks. All right. Okay. Alright, they both shatter underneath your grasp, just breaking apart into bone and um, and flakes of scale, just crumbling underneath your hands. I start yelling, who day? Renly, you're up. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I am going to transform into um, an air elemental, and I am going to fly upwards. Okay. Um, and I'm basically trying to get around here. Here or so, um, let's see if I can, and, we'll pretend that's an air elemental. Yes, thank you, and I, damn it, this is gonna be a feat. I'm trying to figure out if I can actually get somewhere further away, oh well, okay, no, I'm going to have to move again, so, I am going to, double move. I'm gonna get somewhere over here, I'm gonna have to dash. And that'll be my turn. Um, and that's about it. So I'll be up in the air, about a uh, hundred feet or so, and air elemental form right now. Okay. As you end your turn, this fourth hound comes charging up. Um, to Nebularos. Misses. It is your turn. Well, since this form ain't gonna survive this round, um, I'm going to use my breath weapon on this dude's chest. We succeeded that one. We failed that one. By entire upper body, lower body. I think that leaves just about his knees down still intact. <laughs> That's the gravitic breath? Yeah. And I did it in his chest. Okay. Just in case he has like another brain somewhere. Okay. Um, so it rips this huge, this huge um, section of his torso out. Um, he, he collapses down to the ground, just strings of him um, still surviving. You can see that these black. Um, these black bone-like protrusions on his chest, though. They were, they were popping up far enough, and they seem to be holding him together. They, they kind of, like... They're like an external spine of sorts. Um, where his torso is... was completely consumed. Nice. Well, it's fucked him up a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's totally fucked up. Um, let me see here. How much damage do you normally do? It doesn't have a damage, because it just destroys whatever it touches. Yeah, he's, so he's greatly... Know. he's greatly incapacitated. All right, then I'm gonna like fly uh, 80 feet up in the air, and I'll take the attack of opportunity from the dog. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to lose this one today. So the hound is gonna attack you real quick. I'll miss. Ooh, thank God. All right, so I'll fly at my max 80 up into the air, just straight up. Okay. And that's my turn. 
um, after your turn ends. L1 pulls out his cleric handbook and heals me. Yeah, go ahead. L1, you're up. My turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Elwyn's Invisible Blade. I'm going to tell it to go try to force its way into that dude's butthole. <laughs> so it'll it'll land like right behind them, start creeping up. Is your invisible blade shaped like a demon dog? Uh, it's shaped like my dog. So Ooh. larger, it's more 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 spikes. No wonder your girlfriend likes you so much. It's ribbed for no one's pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll uh, click in a firebolt. One man, two penetration. So just one hit. Okay. Okay, and then I'll uh, I'll stand like at the entrance of the cave, um, blocking Akela. Uh, yeah, that's her name, right? Yeah, Akelia. 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 Yeah. yeah. And uh, is it possible for me to roll a perception check to make sure that no one is like, if I listen or I can hear, I can feel that no one's burrowing in from within the cave or uh, making its way somewhere to come up behind us? Um, go ahead and roll perception. Oh, that be an action. Now go ahead and roll. Cool. Disadvantage. Oh, I'm so good at perception. <laughs> oh. You can't tell. There's so much going on. <laughs> Alright, that's my turn. Am I out of the effective as it were in now? How far up are you? 80 feet. No. You're still in the effect. Damn. Um, oh, big aura. Yeah. The this this dog comes charging in. It'll go right around here. Um, and it'll attack you, Deimos, one time. Uh -huh. It'll miss, and then it'll 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 kind of plant its feet and howl into the air. On his uh, turn, this broken yeah. in his form collapsed down. You see him. I don't like the fix and on fix. No, actually, that's bad for them. Trust me. <laughs> you see more of these dogs begin to break off. Oh, shit. The initiative are uh, crazy. I should have aimed for his crotch. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Am I missing anything? That one's there. Ah, this one. Okay. All right. Um, and he, since you're, he's not, he's not. Um, within range of you, and, um, Adis, he kind of like, he kind of like balls himself up, and you see these black spines around his back just kind of like, um, kind of close around him as he just focuses all his energy and all his hate. And he, been, he um, after his baying howl command, he continues to howl, and he, um, you can see his eyes kind of set straight ahead at you, Elwyn, and Akelia behind you. All right. Uh, this hound, which one is this one? That one. Number nine is going to charge forward at you, Elwyn. And it's just going to attack you. Looks like a hit. Yeah. Attacks again, and it misses. Okay. It begins to howl as well. Damn, what's your turn? See. I'm gonna laugh at that dog. I'm gonna say, "Ha! Huh, I can probably take two, maybe three hits if you roll low enough." <laughs> oh shoot! Who knows silence? His eyes sure as hell don't. All right. <clears throat> 
So this is this huntsman like how how beat up does he look? Does he just look like he? Is he's barely he he's barely or? holding himself together. Oh yeah, yeah, he's barely holding himself together. His his he's his spines that protrude from his back have kind of like grown in size and kind of wrapped around him. He's kind of curled up on the ground. Um, uh, he, he's like on his knees, just kind of bent over. Um, okay. Just holding holding his torso. His eyes still focused ahead with hatred. Um, okay. You're not sure what's going on in, in you know inside, but um, as as these protective spines keep keep growing and encircling him. Um, it looks it looks very defensive, like a defensive posture. Okay. In that case, I will uh, grab this Hellhound three um, through the back area. So I have a uh, Hellhound fist. Um, and I will <laughs> run over here, and I'm okay. going to grab another Hellhound on my other fist. Okay. So I got two doggy on my fists, and I'm like gonna try to start pile driving to this Huntsman guy with these these doggy fists all right go ahead and first just just real quick roll the um roll the what do you call it yeah roll the fisting and mainly i'm trying to get these dogs so they can reach um down i want to meet uh elwin's um blade down so we're, we're gonna i'm gonna we're gonna crush him to this boy so okay so wait where are you spikes. so Adis is, is is up in the air so where are you going where are you going right in front of him yeah okay I'm dragging the dogs, and I'm just punching with the dogs. Like okay. Cool boxing gloves. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you grab you grab the dogs, and you're, you've shoved your hands into their, their torsos, just breaking through their their scaly, bony skin. Um, they're screeching in pain. Go ahead and roll to it. Um, how many attacks are you making? Uh, I was going to do... So I have the one left from... Because I had to use that. Both. One to grab, then one. So I have one left, and then since I grappled, I have uh, two more. So three attacks total. Okay. Uh, how should I roll these? Just right target. Here. Yeah, just target um, um, Harrow and make three unarmed attacks. Okay. No. Gaze. So the dogs are are flailing and and snapping at you. Just and it's you find. Very disconcerting in your attacks to try to to try to wield them as they are. They're they're actively resisting against you, and as it does, it throws off your balance with each swing. Um, and the demon, you can tell, the, you make minimal contact with one of his um, was it with part of his one of his boning protrusions, but does no damage. Oh darn! All right, Renly. Alrighty, I am moving to that point um, southwards. And I am casting a spell, so that is Electrical Storm. Um, let's do that. Mm, here we go. I should be good for that. Okay, and here we go. Where are you? Here we are. Alrighty, and then I'm going to do my Boon of Biffin. So that's a d12. And okay. That's about it for me. All right, you see that you see them all shrieking, and um, the, the the dogs are howling, and and like as the lightning impacts the area, they get scattered, and some you know dodge and move all over the place. I'll go down, right. I'll I'll fly down to about 50 feet, and that's about it. Okay. The hounds, um, they come at you, Deimos. Hound number 10. With advantage. Oops. Uh, I think it's because I have my whatever on it. What? Oh, wait. What that, uh, what's it called? The thing that Renly put on me. A foresight. foresight. Oh, okay. So it misses. Um, hound number, f hound number four, which is one of the ones you're grabbing, is gonna turn around and try to bite you. I don't think so, sir. Uh, misses. Hound number five. 
group, so... Oh, let me re-roll. I forgot to target you. Oh. Be a hit. It attacks again. Hits. Attacks again. Hits. Damn, this guy's good. Attacks again. Misses. Alright. It is your turn. Right? Mm -hmm. That one, you're not, though. Really? Could you do more cool shit if you were hasted? Um, that would give me an extra action to... To do what exactly? Uh... I think you can only use it for attacks. An extra additional action on each turn, the action can only be used to attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Yeah, no, it won't really be a, to me. Much and it gives you plus two armor class and doubles your movement. Nah, it's okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, I'm going to dual cast haste, and I'm going to haste me an L1. Okay. And I will move another 20 feet up in the air. And if I don't get out of his aura, I'll move another 10 feet out of his... And then I'll basically keep moving in increments of 10 feet until I get the fuck out of his aura. Okay. Around the time when you're 130 feet in the air, you're out of his aura. Okay, cool. That will work. And that is my turn. Okay. Elwyn, you're up. Right, first, uh, I'm going to have my sword bury itself a little bit deeper into that uh, demon booty. Alright, <coughs> for my next action, oh, wrong one. I will cast... Yeah, right there. I'll cast slow right there. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, of your choice. Okay, hold on. Let me move my square. It's creatures of my choice. So I can do this and I'll choose one, two. Hound four and three are your fists, right, Deimos? Uh, you can slow them, then it'll wiggle less on my fist. So right now I have one, two, three, five, and six. Cast. Do anybody have, do any of them have uh, legendaries on the dogs? Nope. So I'll slow those, and then for my, I will use, I will quicken another firebolt against the dude. Uh, miss, miss, miss. And then for my hasted action, I will, this dog right in front of me, I'm going to use, um, use an object, the shadow trigon that I haven't used in forever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so it at least takes the thunder damage. Okay. And that's all I can do. Alright. Um, hound number three. Targets you, Deimos. Since you are have your fist up its ass, it's very not happy with you, but he misses. Hound number seven. 
All right, so they're slowed, so they have, what, what's their movement speed? Is half? Yeah. Okay, so he can make it up to Alwyn. I have, I, f I keep on forgetting, but I am wearing my Cloak of Displacement. Okay, so he'll have disadvantage. So, um, but he also has advantage because of pack tactics. So this is a normal attack. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I will. Yeah, there's no way I can make that. Oh okay. yeah, we can't make con saves anymore. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the damage is too high. Um. Okay. Um. Since he hit, he's gonna attack again. Oh, here comes the crit. Attacks again. I will shield that. Okay, it misses. Um. And then that hound begins baying and howling as well. Um, his head tilted up to the sky. Um, you see it, um, these... All, all of them now, as, as their turns have come past, they're all just howling. As, as After they attack, they just lend their voices to the sky. Um, Renly and Adis, you're high up in the air. You guys can see um, what they're doing. They're summoning all the reinforcements, all the demons that you guys had lured off. On the horizon... You can see um, three of these um, speeding your way. And underneath them, um, um, the smoke and the dust of other creatures traveling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hound number six is going to zip in. To Deimos. Hits. Attacks again. Misses. Hound number eight is back here. It's going to rush up to Elwyn. Um, and as it as it begins to to lash out at you, you see Elwyn. You see uh, a shield, a shield uh, spell appear in front of you, uh, but one of, of higher concentration. And the hound misses. I give her a wink. Thanks. Akelia says, says um, I'll do what I can. Elwin. Um... If, if you know of something that I, I should focus upon, please tell me. But uh, I'm afraid that these hounds pose a great danger to myself. I have an idea. Uh, to save your strength, remember. Um, only, only intervene if it's at, at the mo if it's if it's necessary. I will. I will. Okay, and that hound also lifts its head to the sky and starts howling. Um, on his yes, turn. Say what? I was like, anybody know silence? Oh, I would have cast it if I did. I know, I really. wish. I do. Alright, on his turn. Oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I might ask a question. If it's night or day, because you mentioned, like, they are double as long. Um, How long were you guys inside hour. the cave? Eight hours. We took a right, long because rest. We took a long rest. So, okay. And... Been yeah. Days, yeah, it's 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 dusk right now. It's it's turning towards night. So you can see as the the sky is darkened, um, you can see the flaming whips of the Baylors coming in on the horizon. Um. Okay, so let's see. I rolled a six. I don't believe you. It's in, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. I made it. Nah, that looks like I have a, a negative I have four. A, I have a question, Midas. Yeah. Can I use a spark to make you divide that by whatever I get on my spark roll? Mm. No, they don't necessarily work that way. Okay. But, hey, gotta gotta experiment, right? Yeah. 
Although that might be a feature I add to it later when they get upgraded. Sweet. Oh okay. no, because you did specifically write one of our actions, so my bad on it. Okay. There we go. Alright. That was an easier way of doing it. Um, more hounds pop out. Um, let's see here. And Harrow stands up. Um, his frame, as you can tell, half of the flesh that was removed um, has has grown back. He's still hobbling. He's still slowed uh, and and or, um, or incapacitated. But his 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 movement has has um, he's, he's he's actually back to functioning ability. So he's gonna slip in here, Deimos. I, I, actually, he doesn't have to because you're just punching him with those dogs. And he's gonna, he's gonna glare at you in the face, yeah. and, and say, "I'm gonna turn you into meat for my dogs. They'll eat you up and shit you out. And then, I own your head. Do I get your dogs?" <laughs> oh, he says, "You'll own these claws," as he sinks both his claws into you. All right. Okay, so if I take those claws off, I own your dogs. Just want to get this straight. Miss number one. Second attack. Come on. Oh, wow. Apparently a one and a two will miss. <laughs> so this is a hit? Yep. Deimos, make a constitution saving throw. Uh... Okay. Um, as he rips his claw out, um, you see that the wound that's left is seeping in this purplish ichor that he's just exuding and just fleming out of his mouth. And you can see that this wound channel um, in your naked torso is oozing blood and it's dripping out of you. That looks inconvenient. Okay. Hound. Shit, hound number 11. Where's the hound number? Okay, there it is. I wish Fantasy Grounds highlighted which unit was... Yeah. His turn it was a little bit better, because I can barely tell. I can give you an extension for that. Do you have an extension? Yeah, it puts a crown on top of the token. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, give me that. Okay. Um. You're the king. No, you're the king. No, you're the king. I'm All right, so, so Elwyn, there's that, that barrier that Kelly put up is up in front of you for until your next turn. Um, so this hound is just going to go to Deimos. That's gonna attack. Misses. Just hold down for a little bit longer, buddy. This other yeah. hound comes charging up to Deimos. Yo, Jeff. Attacks. That'd be a hit. <clears throat> and as and this these hounds now, you can sell, tell that they're as since they smell your blood, and that you've been marked by this guy's claws, um, they're Shit. in a raging frenzy. Yeah, frick. Max. Wow. Attacks again. Shit, do I see that? That Misses. they're like super doing a bunch of damage. Oh yeah, they're 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 freaking out of their minds right now. Um, they're like they're they've caught the scent. They're like sharks that have caught a scent. Um, so the the hound in front of you, Elwin, is just tearing and, and shredding at this magical barrier in front of you. It can't break through. Uh, Damos, your turn. Can. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you use the leash? <laughs> um, I, I was planning on waiting until. It's at the beginning of Adis' turn to use my reaction to bring Deimos closer so they can all cluster around him and, and Adis can just blast them all. But I might have to pull him sooner. Up to you, Deimos. You tell me when. Just say when! <laughs> you see, I, I turn over and I look just like Bruce Willis. But I, I'll, I'll let you know. Alright. There's only one thing to do. So this guy has a claw or something close to me, right? Dropping yeah. the dogs. Okay. I'm going to start punching and pulling his hands off because he told me if I had his hands, I own the dogs. Okay. Let's go first. Give him a little, little grab a Reno. All right, so it's a grapple? Here. Yeah. Mm. So he'll do this. Yep, you got him. All right. So I have a grapple, so I get advantage on that stuff. So I'm gonna start. 
just pounding straight into that that one hand I grabbed. I'm gonna start ripping okay. this claw off. Okay. How does it work if I have? You only no have advantage wood. if he if he's restrained. Uh, what? what? Oh, oh, is it if he's restrained? Because I thought I had the whatever feet, the grappler feet. Oh yeah, but I mean, you had disadvantage because of his aura, so it just cancels uh, out. They don't stack, so they yeah, you're right. They don't stack. stack. Oopsie poopsies. <laughs> Jake in. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> I have one more. This guy just doesn't want to get hit, guys. I just don't get it. I have his hand in my hand, but I can't hit it. Maybe he looks at you. Hand. He stares you in the face, right? And he says, "You should stop rolling like shit, then." <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Well, if you, if, why couldn't you have told me that earlier, sir? <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. He he leans up to you, so you're you're zooming on it on his face here. I'll second here. So, he just leans straight up to you, Deimos, and, um, and he, he looks you in the eye, he says, You smell like pussy. Like a pussy cat. You know what I dogs do to pussies? I would like to, um, you don't even know what I'm going to do to this guy Nothing so far, except be a pussy so and get wrecked by my dogs. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. All right, you done? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm done. done. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see, number thirteen. Where's number thirteen? Shit, where is it? All right, there it is. Uh, well, I guess there's still a spot left. He's gonna pile on. Oh, this is inconvenient for the oh. demos. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Okay, guys, I'm still technically standing. Okay, yeah, somehow. So uh, All right, Renly. Look at Renly, you see, you see Demos being surrounded by these dogs, um, being torn to shreds. His blood flowing. They're in a rabid frenzy around him. Yep, but my I'm. Tidy little steam, right? I'm moving, I'm moving, and I'm getting to the ground, I'm transforming into Moonsight, and I'm just, um, oh yeah, I would need Moonsight on the on the map, and I'm yelling okay. at Elwyn at this point, like, you know, like, GET Demos AWAY! Like, like, oh my god, I'm yelling so hard. I'm pulling so hard, too. <laughs> Come here, buddy! See? No! I just painted the nuke. Oh God! What nuke? I I yell as I'm I'm going to uh what do you call it? Uh, Starfall. Okay. Let me just target with okay. Here we go. And I would like to spend a spark of insight on this. Okay. Um. Let me get this. But hold on, I'm just going to target do this. Okay, here we go. Oh crap! Did it not work? Did it worked. Well, target? you're you're targeted. Oh, let's see. Moonsight. Yeah, you targeted. He'd have to be on the combat tracker for you. Oh, he's, he's on the tra he's on yeah, combat tracker. Yeah. This is, this is, oh, maybe I'm not actually using the right sheet. Hold on. Let me again. Yeah. Here we are, and this should work. There we go. And this is time for a boon of Biffin. Use the force. Use the force. And that was seven. And boon of Dean Mott as well, but I'm not quite sure exactly um, whether I get everything or not with that. Or is it um, like a solo? No, it's it's a sing it's Does a it single creature. Specified? Yeah. Okay, I mean, so, uh, um, yeah. I am going to use the the boon. Well, should I use it on this or that? Huh, crap. I'll use it on. Use it on this. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll use it on this. Okay. Um, the so boon. Um, the. Biz, I'm going to be multiplying something, but I'm not quite sure what. So, so do the normal damage first, and then you can we can calculate uh, Boon of Tiamat. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so let's see here. So a bunch of hounds die. 
So you guys, what you guys see is friggin' Renly going all all super chicken mode. And the f oh crap! I Li yeah, and ca shit. calling down, calling down. Um, and like so that's multiplied by three, and then I boon of Tiamat on Harrow. Okay. But yeah, calling down all this stuff from the sky, and let's see here. Wait, you want to multiply by three all the damage? Yeah. So this is the this is the spark of insight I'm using on this, like uh, this actual damage I've done on the E. But the boon of Tiamat is just on Harrow. Okay. So Harrow took how much? Damage? All right, hold on a second here. I got it. Oh yeah, no, but that's multiplied by three, so that is one twenty-three. Okay, one twenty-three. Yeah, so Renly goes full laser chicken mode, and calls down beams of light from the sky, um, and the 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 bright silvery light just rips through these hounds. And that is on Harrow with the boon of Tiamat. Okay. Because he he. Avoided almost everything. I'm like, damn it! But, okay, fine. So I'm out of stuff, and I am back in chicken mode. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Harrow is there still, though. Standing. Yeah. Um, not terribly damaged, not terribly impacted by this attack. His, mo his, his torso mostly recovered from the... The, the debilitating attack from Adis. Okay. Adis, you're up. <clears throat> um, how far away are the Baylords? Um, they're almost on the map. They're, oh, so they're within a thousand feet. Yeah. Or they happen to be within... A hundred feet? No. Okay. You're on the ground, right, Moon Scythe? I'm on the ground, yes. Uh, which way are the Baylor's coming from? Top? Bottom? Uh, top right. Okay. I'm gonna turn this into a 20 foot deep crater. Um, I'll fly back down to 80 feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my stellar flare breath. Um, so it'll put it 20 feet into the ground. Um, I'm going to use my boon to max the damage. And then I will... Um, then I will uh, spark it. Yay, times three. So uh, he gets a save. Unless he's. Is he still incapacitated? No. Okay, so he gets a save. So he succeeded. So he takes. 750 fire damage and 750 radiant damage. Is that already halved? That's what it halved, yeah. Because it would be 3,000 total. Fire and radiant? Yeah, so that's the max roll, and then I got a three on the spark, and so it'd be three thousand, and then half to fifteen hundred, so seven fifty of each type. And I'll be right back. Fire and radiance. Okay. He is, um, he's staggered by this blast of, 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 um, of energy that comes from Aedas, and the ground is, is shattered and broken, um, underneath this incredible barrage of, of power that, that, um, Nebularos' form just pours out onto the area. Let's see here. Elwyn, you're up. 
So, uh, first of all, my sword's going to dig a little deeper. Okay. Ha! Ah, not today. Then I'm going to give him some more fire herbs. Okay. God damn. <laughs> and... Man, that poison really wrecks you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uber got here quicker than I thought it would. Tasted action, I'll give him some Shadow Trigon. So how much damage did I do to him? Um, you did 750 damage to him. Ooh, is there something hidden? Ouch. And then... Oh look, I hit him once! <laughs> I'm gonna hit him one time eventually. He looks at you, Owen, he says, <laughs> You all roll like shit! <laughs> Turn on the door, yeah. <laughs> you don't even need it. That's my turn. Okay. Alright. Start of his turn. Oh, just two. Does he start making a squatting motion? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, um, two dogs spawn out from the black um, spines on, around his back. And he looks around and he says, and he, um, uh, he looks at the, he looks at the, um, the shield that's up in front of Elwyn and Deimos. And he says, Welcome back for you. And he spins around and rushes toward Renly. Pull on the runly tether. <laughs> Alright, Renly, make a constitution saving throw for Moonscythe. Alrighty. Alright, you are also bleeding. Um, with the Baylors, um, let's see, they're bigger. Flying in, actually, I'll put them like this. And now, are there different rankings of Baylors? These yeah. ones are, are, um, you know, they're stronger than the ones you fought in Hell, and the ones that you fought on the Material Plane. These are like, you know, big daddy Baylors. These are these are Gandalf slaying Baylors. Oh snap! All right, Demos, you're up. All right, so guys, what, what's the plan? Are we trying to just as quickly as we can take this guy out and then run, or where's our sleigh? In the building, I think. Okay, this three Baylors looks quite terrible. I, I very much feel like we need to kill him and then run, like yeah. hop on the sleigh and move it, move. It. You hear Ellen. Renly going like, get the flay! Uh, shit. Alright. <clears throat> Ellen? Oh, yelling uh, to kill you, at least. <laughs> what do you think the chances are if we could uh, go dragon, the, the the Dragonator mode? Oh. Do you think our uh, fire wanted... demos through the sky would destroy it? Let's do it. Whatever it is I'm in. Oh, you know where you use your... Uh, your fire thing to shoot me in bubble form to blow this guy up. And then you can Davos tether me back. Yeah. Or actually here. I line up right here so I can Oh damn it. So I can hit a Baylor too. Aim it through this guy and hit the other Baylor. So when you walk out of that entrance it's a twenty foot drop, by the way. Yeah, I'll be firing like a cannon. 
By the way, Midas, did he make his yep. athletics check to climb up the wall to attack her? <laughs> to attack? Oh yeah, easily. <laughs> it was nothing. He just I, jumped out. I had, to, I, I had to try. All right, I kill you. Quick, hold the shield as long as you can. Yes. But get the goddamn sleigh. We're gonna, we're gonna need this. We're gonna need that. What this magic sleigh? Real fast. Get the Santa mobile. Um, she says, oh, we did the part. Yeah, right after uh, uh, Uncle Deimos and uh, Uncle Bad Touch Elwin uh, do some bad stuff to this demon real fast. She says, very well. Should I let down my barrier? Keep it up as long as you can. Okay. She nods, and um, you see her we, we'll turn, and the slate... We'll drop it. Yeah, the sleigh summons up next to her. All right. It just slides into um, view. Cool. All right. Uh, <clears throat> whenever uh, it is your turn, Elwin, I will have my my shield ready, and I'll be in full Superman punch mode. All right, and you can just blast my bitch ass through the sky, and we'll see if we can hit any other demons along the way. Okay. All righty. I am Friendly. moon beaming him. I am Boon of Biffin. It is night, so it is doubled, and I am Spark of Insighting this. With my last Spark of Insight. So this is another extra... Uh, what do you call it? This is doubled, so let's just roll this. So that is minus the... That's 219, so double that. Okay. And um, what was it? The 110 didn't actually apply to Moon Fight. I mean, it didn't apply to the thingy. So that whole sort of need to be applied manually. I'm sorry. Okay. And um, so that <laughs> is 2, 4. Okay. I'm doing bad math and bad at this. Alright, so let me, let me heal him from this real quick. 109. 657. No, that's 219 plus 219 plus 110 and multiplied into 3. So 548. So that's 1644. Damn. And I'm bonus actioning, transforming into an aerial animal and running away. He'll get an op attack. Okay. Oh, that almost did him. That was really close. Alright, um, as the moon beam just blasts down on him, you can see it shredding and ripping away the darkness that surrounds him, um, breaking off these these black spines that protrude from him. Um, he is heavily staggered. He is barely holding himself together, but he still snarls at you. And as you run away, Renly... He's going to attack. Really gets an op. Down goes Moonscythe. Oh, I'm I'm air elemental, so um, just that she applied, uh, reapplied the damage to Renny. I've got the air elemental on her, like the Tim. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So you're outside the door. <laughs> well, I, I go flying all the way through and sit on the sleigh, wherever it is inside. <laughs> Alright, uh, so as you come to the door, um, Akelia lowers the barrier. So the barrier's oh, gone. Yay! I didn't even know there was a barrier because I'm so oh, yeah. far away and didn't notice. <laughs> okay, Akelia lowers the barrier. Yeah, that's yeah. Done. Okay. Alright, the demons start flying in. These guys aren't as fast as as um, the hounds are by any means. Uh, but the hounds now seeing the lowered barrier come ch go charge in. Um, you hear Harrow say to you, Yes, protect her with your life. You all die in the process.
Oh my, actually, this is advantage. I have my cloak on. Okay, so it misses. Second one. Second guy. Advantage on Elwyn. Um, actually, both either one would have hit. Yeah, both would have hit. So here comes damage. Rolls again. Hits. Rolls again. I'll shield that one. Okay, so you are... You get 80 hit points back. Because it went over by, two, by 12. So you're at 516. Got it. Alright. Thanks. Ada, it's your turn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Sure, I'll take it. So the Shrikes are on the ground, the Bailers are in the eye, in the sky. Uh, how high in the sky are they? Um, they're flying. They're probably 30 feet off the ground. Okay. Um... Then I'll need to slide this over a little. Um, can you move uh, Shrike to... Just need to grab the same way. So I'll move it to like right here. Can't do anything about the dogs, sorry guys, because I need to hit the bathers too. Um, I'm gonna do this over here. Let's see, it's gonna make the hole a little deeper, but oh well. Okay, so I can do the big one on all of them, or I can kill one of the bailers. Kill Hyro. Okay. Alright, so I'll do this. I will spark it. And I will... Yeah, just work it. Alright, so... Let's see if this will work. Um... This work? Can I make it in target? Yes, I can. Sweet. Using your breath weapon? Yes. Okay. So there's the saves. There's the damage. There's the spark. I actually rolled that twice, so yeah, it doesn't do any more damage. <laughs> Did Harrow save? Uh... Yeah, he did. So he succeeded. The it's damage went out. He resisted. Okay, so he's immune to fire, is why the, the fire did no damage. Um, did you oh, roll figured. Radiant also? No, yeah, the Radiant it's... rolled zero. Five, one hundred, it's equal to zero. That can't be right. Why yeah, did, how did 5d100? As in, like, yeah. the uh, above, like, it says, uh, 5 100 is equal to 6 8 1, which is the total damage, and then radiant 5 100 is equal to 0. So it all applied as fire. What's on going radiant. on here? Yeah. Hold on a second weird. here. What in the world is Fancy Grounds doing? 48 yeah, plus and... 14 plus 99. So it rolled all 10d100s. It just applied it all to fire. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah, I'm targeted everybody. I want to check something real quick. So I'll split that. It's yeah, yeah, there's something radio. wrong with it because look at that. It did it again. Yeah, for some odd reason, it's not doing the radiant as radiant. Yeah, check the. All right, I'll, I'll look at it. That's weird. Um. Okay, I'll split it. I'll do, th yeah, 390 Radiant. That's fine. That is enough to kill him. Alright. Sweet. So Harrow, um, as the Radiant and, and Flame, the Radiant Flame just engulfs him, you see him howl and scream, and um, he gets burnt away by the, the Divine Flame that 
kind of washes over him. All right, um, as that happens, the hounds likewise um, dissolve into nothingness. Anything else? Uh, uh, the Baylors would have took the three nineteen as well, or the three ninety as well, unless they're resistant to radiant or immune to it. On it. Nope, they take it. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Let me heal. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it do that? Oh Because you did five hundred. I can do it. Three, 319? Was it, it was 390, right? Yeah, I'll do it. I got it. It's easy for me to do it. That. Alright, got it. Um, and I will keep my altitude of 80 feet and I will fly over here kind of above them. Okay. Then that's my turn. I got it, Renly. They have the damage. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I fixed it. No worries, sorry. I... Okay. Undid all of that. <laughs> all right, got it. So, all right, so that was your turn. The Shrikes begin to move in. They're just charging blindly now. They have the sense of of Achelia, of Goddess. So they're dashing into place now. Does the invisible Elwyn dildo get a uh, attack of opportunity? No. no. Elwyn, you're up. Two of these shrikes are right in front of the door. Right. Are we just Good. booking it, or are we Deimos canning? Yeah, were, were we trying to book it, guys? I'm in a sleigh. What would y'all okay. want to do? <laughs> well, unless the sleigh can fly, it's going to go out the door and down into a 30-foot deep crater. It cannot fly. Can it go into the crater and back out of it? The walls are sheer. Oh, we're fucked. Why? Why we have that there? It, Can it not go around that, it, the crater? I didn't know this was Michigan here with potholes. Yeah, I can't <laughs> no, just it's go my, around it's the crater. It's my cellar breath does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but this moves at super fast speed, so it can just go around the crater, right? I don't know. I'm just tossing you, out info. You drew it pretty close to the edge of the door, didn't you? Right up against it. Yeah, just yeah. shove the, the shrikes off uh, down the crater, and then we go. They fly. But can we hover? They're right up against the yeah. door. They're, they're they're like clinging to the walls and the and all the rocks and cage of the of the entranceway. All right, so we have to get out of the cave. Are we still around. poisoned? No, you're not. Let me turn that. Take that off. I need you to heal me, Rinley. I can't well, fight Baylors with this low health. I don't think we can really fight them at this point. I'm out of stuff. Let me turn into a tree. If I keep rolling sixes, we can. Right. Alright, fuck it. We'll just fight him. I'm gonna twin a plane um, shift, see if I can at least get rid of these. Oh, you can, uh, I mean, do you, you, you want a Deimos camp? Nope. L1. Some L1. Good stuff. L1. As a, as a battle character reminder, your character already knows those don't work here, remember? Because we tried with Banish. How lucky that one. I'm going to spark it. Roll the spark. Can I um, lucky a spark? No. <laughs> uh, let's see. As you do that, as you as you channel the plane shift spell, um, you can feel the you can feel the 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 nature of the plane itself resisting you. Um, your dimensional portal fails to open. Um, Akelia puts, places her hand on your shoulder and says, "Elmin." Elwyn. I cannot b bear to see you all suffer because of me. Suffer? We, li we live for this. I'm yeah, he's my dead! Sword. We're fine! My sword closer and it's gonna attack that dude. Okay. 
Okay, and then I will quicken my firebolts. And uh, for my hasted action, I will use Shadow Trigon on my third one. And then it's my turn. Hodor! Hodor! Hodor. Alright. Um that, that, that demon in the uh, the shrike in front of you. Um Let's see here. Okay. Um the Baylors begin to move in. They fly into position from up here. You can see it lash out. Um, this massive ball of flame. Uh, right, us. right into the entrance of the cavern. Shoot us. She sends, she puts, she turns to you and says, Uncle, I cannot bear to see you all suffer. We're not even suffering that much. We got this, Achillea! Get in the flay! Get ready to activate Very well. Very well. So, okay, we so she she, she she jumps into the sleigh. Um, what do you want her to do? Just jump into the sleigh, that's like, all? Like, get ready to activate the sleigh um, when, I, when, I, when I say go. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, everybody make deck saves. Am I within range? Let's see here. How high above the the door are you flying? Eighty. No, yeah, you're not in in range. Okay. Okay. Um. As the the fireball comes blazing into the the hallway. <laughs> Jokes and you guys, Baylor. I'm not even dead yet. Oh, I used my my elemental resist, so I'll have that. I'll take it. Okay. You know what? I will do the same. Can I double resist if I already resist fire? No, huh? Um, I don't think it works that way. Okay. Oops and dreams. But okay. Please? Oh, so let's see, like let's that. see. So all of our um, death wards pop then. Yeah, your death wards pop. You're at one hit point. Elwin, let's see. I live at one hit point sense. in this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my natural state. <laughs> okay, as the flame overtakes you, you see Akelia's face um, in, in, in anguish. She says, just no! I cannot bear to see this happen! Hold your back, get back, it's don't worry! This isn't the first rodeo! Okay. Yes. The other Baylor comes flying up. Oh, no, 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 that Baylor. Yeah, you have to wait your turn, it goes Baylor, all of us, did another. These Baylors <laughs> are following the rules. <laughs> they rolled initiative, they were on the initiative chart at four. No, 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 Baylor, stop it, Baylor. All right, fine, fine. So this one's gonna come up here oh, and he's gonna Baylor's. dig into into Atus. Just flies right up to you, Atus, lashing out with longsword attacks. Damn, dude, was that charisma high? <laughs> <I'm a bard. laughs> oh my god! Oh no, you're not allowed to attack our pet dragon either. Baylor is what part of you can't move until we say you can move. Don't you get? Atus, you begin to fall. Oh, I do. Where are you? Um, How and you have 217. He was 80 feet up in the in the air. 
as a Baylor just shreds into it. Okay. I will wait till I'm. I will. I fall about forty feet, and then I'll use my reaction to cast Feather Fall. Okay. And wait. You begin to. Turn. You begin to fall past the doorway. Um. It, it would grab him. <laughs> I guess you guys can reach out and grab each other's arms. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm falling backwards waving at the Baylor, so he can try to grab my wavy hand. Wait, you're falling away? Like this? No, 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 no. Like you, you, you fall straight down. down. No, I'm okay. falling with my back pointed at the ground, waving by to the Baylor. Okay, as you cast Featherfall, um, Elwin and Deimos, you grab onto him and pull him inside the, the entrance to the cave. All right. Um, hey, look at the other one, dude. Can't even move. Look Deimos, your so turn. Afraid. Oh, fuck. Guys, pick up everybody and sit them down. I'll this put this layer. one. Buckle, let's see here. This guy will be in. at that initiative. Okay. Buckle. I, I pick everybody up. I buckle everybody in. I'm like, okay, so it's the plan now. I have a rightness and a perfect penis. Okay. You guys You guys want to take off? I'm on, on my turn. I am turning into an elemental locust. Um, I tell Akelia to drop Inside the, the sleigh? <laughs> Inside the sleigh. Yeah, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm basically get the off sleigh. the... No, no, I'm getting off the sleigh, I'm, and I'm getting next to it. Elemental Locust. I'm basically, run, like, raising the sleigh up on me, and then turning into... I'm basically, like, crowd surfing the sleigh out, and the Elemental Locust is going to basically get onto the top of this weird hill thingy, and then okay. I'm going to get back in the sleigh and transform, like a transform and pop back into the sleigh. So, using my form to surf it out, like earth surf it out. Okay, okay. Okay, so from the outside, it looks like um, this massive explosion of rock just bursts out of this cave. Um, this ma the, the, yeah, just rolling out of, out of this cave. The, the Baylor is just re retreat back into the air in reaction. There. Yeah, and you guys go zipping along on the sleigh behind it, and you get and with the the locust, you you take a few strides forward, bridging the gap um, of the chasm, and set the sleigh down on the other side and revert back to your form. As you do yeah. that, the the guys grab you, pull you into the thing, and you guys and, and um, Akelia activates the sleigh, and you begin go, to torpedo go, go. out of <laughs> um, out of there. Can I weave a spell on our way out? Not an offensive one. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna weave a spell into the air and cast Skyrite. <laughs> and I'm gonna write. <clears throat> did we hear what this guy's name was? Harrow? Yeah, did we? Did he actually tell us his name? Yeah, his name is Harrow. He, uh, I'm gonna Skyrite. Here, here lies in this crater Harrow, the demon who liked to fuck and be fucked by his dogs. Okay. As you guys blaze off, um, you see the Baylor just spin around and, and turn and begin to um, fly in your direction, um, snarling and lashing their whips. The, um, the the sled rapidly begins to outpace them. As you as you begin to zip off, you see that um, there were a, fair, a sizable number of reinforcements as, as demons from all around the area were beginning to, to be attracted to this spot, um, drawn in by Harrow's... Uh, howls of of um <laughs> from his hounds the calls from his hounds. But you guys zip past and narrowly narrowly evade um, contact. And I wrote that in um, since that was short enough. I did it in Drac or a demonic and also translated it in abyssal. Mm -hmm. I I will turn Kayleon towards um a shingle a shimble. And just ask, now, to be fair, he didn't have a partner or a, an ex or someone else who could do exactly what he does, like this Harrow person. Just double check. He says, Wait, did you even mm. put him in the sled? I think yeah, he was always you. in it. He says, <laughs> no. He says, Harrow, only, only demon Shimble worked for Harrow destroyed Shimble's, Shimble's village. Slaughtered all but but a few. Harrow's own uh Shimble, Shimble's own 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 life mate 
and children <laughs> held them threatened to slay them unless I I led others to to him well we fucked them up Shimbo where is your family located and we'll go get them right now you would do this for Shimbo told you Shimbo we're cool people praise the gods praise the gods praise you have one of them ya. here right now go ahead he says my lady Shimble, Shimble will always be your faithful servant. Shimble will tell all other incarnates that a goddess yet lives in Elysium. Yeah, how about you not do that? Yeah, and tell and then tell everybody that she's got real cool friends too. Don't yeah, forget. Friends <laughs> Shimble will yeah. sing the praises of well, these mortals. Given your people's propensity for betrayal I'd suggest you not tell anyone about her being here. Thanks. Not betrayal, brainwashing. Same difference. The outcome is still the same. The incarnates will thing. know. They will want to know of these mortals who can slay demons. There's a way near to you, Hale. I give him a pamphlet. Take this. Not only does he protect he gives you the strength to beat up demon boys and devil boys and girls. And you see, you, you see in your pamphlets, Deimos, mm -hmm. that I, I crayoned in, and I try to, to make it look like you drew it, like a little boy with crayons. Mm -hmm. uh, next to Tempest, you see uh, Akalia or, or Mistra. Oh. With the six pack. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, praise be. I point to the heavens. Looks like Tempest actually updated these pamphlets. If even magic wimps can become strong. Like cardio strong, not actual strong. But like cardio strong. Look yes. at these abs. Yes, also, I guess like Mistra, Mistra's okay. But not as cool as Tempest, but definitely okay. Also, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. I turn into Shimble with a six pack. Also, like, uh, you could be like this if you also, follow uh, <laughs> Besides one of her followers, uh, Elastra is okay because she's a secretary. Yeah, but she uh, she won't get you shredded like this, Shimble. She won't get you shredded. She gives you a big butt, but that's about it. Shimble points at like the at the the pamphlet and says, "Shimble knows this god." Cool. Tempest. Tempest. To? The uh, Tempest. Oh shit! Do you hear that, Demos? Yeah. Everybody knows Tempest. Why, why would I be shocked? But he just knows this guy. Of course, everybody knows Tempest. He's super right. cool. Everybody totally knows him. It's not like people have gone like who before. Yeah. Oh know. no, no. I meant like. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. You know of him, or you've met him personally? Shimble knows this god, Tempest, one of the brothers three, the Triune gods that ruled Elysium and and harbored it from from all dangers. The ones who were on the front lines when El when Ar Asmodeus the Red God attacked. Oh shit. Wait, I tell you it. Woe. Woe to the brothers three. Falling beneath the sword of Asmodeus. Torn. Oh. Torn from limb. Limb from limb. Tear. Beheaded. Crushed beneath the hoof of a massive demon. And Tempest. Tempest. Wielding his sword. Leading the armies of the heavenly hosts. Into an un... Unconquerable foe. Never to be seen from again. So. <clears throat> Tempest is actually his friend. He's just me and it. He's just so keep fighting. He's just fighting. That's what he's doing right now, just fighting. Praise be the gods, for Lord Tempest has lived, you tell me. He's um, totally Dam okay. Damos, Damos. Yes. Uh, How long were we um, in that, you know, that stream of light after um, we traveled from the other plane? Because are we sure Tempest is okay? Well, we Damos did, can we tell cast his spells, right? We oh, yeah, that. that's a good point. Remember? That's a good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, hashed, fight, we hashed that out, out a couple of sessions ago. 
there wasn't much of a time loss. I, I thought that we figured that out out of out of game. Yeah, yeah we did. No, the, the invasion yeah. the invasion happened, um that was the very first thing that um oh, okay. in the cool. in session one. So that was a long time ago. Now we just gotta find out how to revive <laughs> Take so, <laughs> Shimble, um, Shimble says, um, Shimble's village, Shimble's village. He says, he's, he's, he, he, he points off to the west. He says, he says, if you would be so kind as to, Shimble's loved ones are, and he, uh, in the emotion, he, he, um, he can't finish his, his thought. Say no more, Symbol. Akalia, please. Could you take us in that direction? Of course. Should we perhaps check how many demons are are at that village? Uh, like, you know, just do some reconnaissance before we, we rent? Just, just asking. Um, well, how far is this village, Symbol? He says... At the rates we travel, not much farther. Yes. We will be there you know in a matter a of minutes. Do you know of a spot that we can, uh, uh, we can stop out of sight from the village and maybe sneak up on it, get a high vantage point, see what's, yes. what's going on? Yes, the three of our ancestors, those divine thoughts who pre pre that preceded us, the basic, the basic axioms from which we spring forth. Yes. It overhangs our, our village. Okay, so um, do you think we may maybe have ten minutes before yeah, we get about. there? Okay, so while uh, we get there for the remaining ten minutes, I'm gonna cast Catnap, and um, Demos, Ranley, and Adis can have a short rest. Okay. So weak. Thank you, good sir. Let's see, Deimos, Renly. Well, if if you've got, uh, let's see, it, oh, we have only ten minutes. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I didn't really need it, but maybe a Kelly could have used it. But never mind. Okay, okay. that's cool. That's cool. Well, I got um, back four spell slots. So. so while you guys are resting, um, Akelia is gonna is gonna look at you, Owen, and she's gonna she's gonna talk to you. So Deimos. Renly and Adis, you guys are resting right now. Alrighty. Um, during that ten minute that ten minute journey, Akelia says to you, Elwin. What's up? I'm at a loss. I cannot stand that the horror of seeing the these creatures tear at sh at you and Demos and and the rest. I feel responsible. I know that you guard me, and I know that the a reason that they are able to find us so easily is because of my presence here. I feel I'm responsible. Don't feel that way. We are here of our own choosing, and that is what what makes you and what will make you such a great goddess of you having those feelings for your subjects, of feeling pain when we feel pain, but know that we're here of our own accord and we will be here no matter what we were with you till the end yes yes but if you are willing to fall for me i should be willing to to fight for you as well yes but you have such an important role that's to be in the future that you're way more important than than us so let us try to, to help. That's what gives us strength, knowing that there is someone like you that cares for us that we can fight for. She pauses for a second and then she nods her head slowly. She says, I understand. But if things grow dire, please know that I, I want to help. I don't... Yes, she says, I want to help. These demons are dangerous, she says. And I know 
deep down inside that they are dangerous to me. But I cannot see you die, my friends. She, she says, I've been so long without knowing it, without having anyone that I knew or loved. And here you are. The fates have brought you to me. I cannot lose, lose think the people of, I care for again. Think of your brother, everybody that you left back in the world when you ascended. If we are not, if we're not successful in bringing you up this enormous, you know, walking the planes of the heavens, getting to the top, giving you more strength, allowing you to fight back the forces of darkness, then not only us, and I point at Deimos, Renly, Adis, and my and Shimble and myself, uh, it won't just be our lives that are lost. It would be everyone uh, that you've ever known and loved. And the millions of people that live in that world. That's what we're here fighting for. Just think about that. It's not just us here. We're fighting for everyone else as well. She nods her head. She says, Yes. For Darius. For my mother. I understand. Thank you, Elwin. You're welcome, Achelia. Thank you for for not being a dick god. You're <laughs> she gonna smiles. be one of the good ones. <laughs> she wipes her she wipes her she wipes the, the a stream of tears from her eyes, she says. <laughs> she smiles, she says, I'm afraid I lack the proper equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm afraid you do too. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. <laughs> she smiles. She says, yes. Well, I will do all I can, along with you. Maybe the fates will bless us and we will be able to, able to accomplish the impossible. She looks at the mountain. She says, It is truly an incredible mountain. I cannot imagine what dangers and delights await us. Yes, and it's a journey we'll all take together. We will conquer it, like we have everything else. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Um, so on the off so about chance. To... Go on. Go on. Has our, uh, has our short rest skills gotten better? <laughs> or they just still are double with these? <laughs> what the hell nice. are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, because we got so much more health now. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean your, your, oh, oh, your hit dice. Yeah. I mean, oh I'm not shit! Um, health is health. I honestly didn't even think about it until now. Yeah, I didn't think about hit dice either. All right, hold on a second here. Oh, uh, I do. I do cast healing spirit and have it run through the sprinkler system, and I'm doing that at um at third level. Yeah, let's do that. Third. You cast it and then it disappears. <laughs> I mean, can we can we not cast it inside of the sleigh? Like have I don't it. Know. I'm just fucking. What's an anchor too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the spell. <laughs> oh, let me let me drag it. There you go. Five foot cubic space. You can see. <laughs> so I'm like sure. a space in the sleigh. <laughs> Sure. Is it like do hell? we leave it behind or is it like a fly when it's in your car? Uh, it, it, like Yeah, yeah, decent. yeah, fine. You can you yeah. can cast it in the sleigh, sure. Cool. It, it moves along with you. Actual motion, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we are conga lining it, people. It's time yeah. it's time for a conga line, okay? Yeah. And but if you try if you guys try to use like an immovable rod or something like that, they would just anchor in 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 space <laughs> and be left behind. Uh, I'll I'll turn into tree when we stop, but this is for now. Okay. A few more minutes go by, and Shimble um, indicates a large tree that was rapidly becoming into view. And Akelia slows the the sleigh and and parks you guys right behind it. And it is indeed a, a pretty large, impressive tree. Um, you can tell that it has fallen upon hard times, though. The bark is cracked and peeling. 
Um, the tree bears only a few sprouts of foliage um, at the at the at, a few, at the ends of a few of the branches. The rest of it is either um, covered in dead brown leaves that are are beginning to flake off or is completely bare in general. Shimble says, "Here it is, the tree of our ancestors." Um, he I'll be out of yeah. line of sight of the village. Um, he points to the other side, past the tree. He says, "There, there is Shimble's village, a simple place, but a place of happiness, or at least it was." Okay, so you guys can see down, and it's, it's a slope, uh, a gradual slope, um, about a quarter mile away. You can see um, the remnants of, um, a, you know, a me medium-sized village. Um, the villages here again are are shaped and constructed differently. There, um, this this village in particular, it's it's the layout, its geometric layout is very precise. Um, like a, a perfect circle, a perfect circle. The the buildings are aligned, are, are laid out around it, um, and a lot of the a lot of the roads and stuff are in exact um, in exact tangents um, to the the edges of the circle. I will wrap my staff on the ground, and I will cast speak with plants and talk to the tree. Hey, hi, tree of. Shimble's ancestors, do you have a name? As um as you address the tree, um it takes a moment and your your sight kind of drifts into the bark of uh, as you, you make contact with the tree. You feel that the, the, the thread of life is very faint um within this creature. Um it says I fare poorly. What was that again? My, I fare poorly. My time draws short. Are you coming to the end of your natural life, or is there something hastened by recent events? Says, with the death of the creatures tied to my life, no more memories, no more connection with the beings that grew me. I fade from this plane. He looks at, um, and, and um, you can tell it's, it notices that Shimble's there, he says. This one, and it's kind. We sustained each other, and now we die together. Um, I, I, I don't think that, oh, I'll throw it, and I awaken him. Um, because I'm like, uh, Shimble, talk to your tr <laughs> okay. While they do, while they do that, I will. Uh, Demos, you want to scope this place out with me? Uh, yes, please. I'll mm. wing gift Demos, and then I'll cast uh, invisibility on Demos, and then I'll put on my ring, my ring of invisibility. And, and uh, I will say you all have fun with that, and I will dual cast protection from good and evil on the both of them, and then I'll spend the next five minutes just misty stepping fifty times. I cast path without trace so that they have extra they, stealth if they, they choose. To they lose it as soon as they're more than thirty feet away from you. Pass without trace, no, yeah. For the duration, each uh, da, 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 can't be tracked. Is that his range? A uh, range of self. Um, but then you ca it radiates from you, masking you and uh, your companions. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so you guys head off towards the village. Um, Shimble um, acknowledges the tree as he puts presses his hand against its bark. He says, 
the thoughts of my ancestors. Um, I mourn with you the loss of all our kind. And the tree responds um, similarly with a with a uh, um, a statement of mourning and of um, of loss. And Shimble inquires about some of the, the um, the loved ones that were were killed in the attack, um, and asking if they had the chance to to join. To join the the stream of of his ancestors, the thoughts, the divine thoughts, the, um, back to wherever they come from. And the tree looks at Shimble and says, "I know not." I can see little, and sense even less. Okay. Your your power does it come from from a mass of of symbols or incarnates or or do you just need a family to sustain you and and keep you strong? He says, The life of the village was my life. And as I die, so do they. He says, There are a small number left. That is why I have but a spark of my life remaining. If Chimble and his kind were to reunite and to prosper and to refound this village... He says, um, there's a chance that we would all thrive together, but it would take much time, and it would take the blessing of a god. <coughs> to... Elbow, elbow, <coughs> elbow. Um, Kelly, I kind of goes up to the I can't help you with tree. that. <coughs> and she says, she says, I understand what Shimble is, but I think to create more of his kind is something that is far down the road for me. My thoughts are so in, are so consumed with the maintaining of the weave that I have much I have little else to spare for creation. But perhaps in time. Shimble, I would love, I would love to make more of your kind and rebuild your village with you. Shimble says, There's hope, my lady. And Shimble will cling to this hope for as long as Shimble survives. The tree says, You are not alone. There are three at living. In the village below. But are there others like that we should perhaps avoid, so 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 those three can be pulled out and. He says, there were five. But, the creatures, the dark beings, that plagued this land, slew and consumed two, over the the past weeks. I fear that the remaining three have not much longer. Okay. Alrighty. So, Deimos, you guys are, are heading over towards the village, and you see a, a, you know, like I said, a fairly um, very organized layout of structures and buildings, but as you get closer, you see that a lot of these structures have been destroyed um, and the the various um, uh, structures that that make up a town, you know, the, the things that the road signs, the um, all the various things that that you would normally see in a village, they're, they're, they've been trampled, they've been run over. Um, the village is completely in shambles. Um, you do see a number of demons. Um, at, at, at visual count from where you are, you see five of them um, watching and moving around. Um, you're not sure who they are, but it's there's evidence that 
um, just from the, the patterns on the ground, that there have been larger groups that have passed through here and moved through here. For some reason, these have been left behind, um, maybe to guard the, the, sh the, the remaining incarnates, or maybe they're just deserters that didn't feel like moving along with the rest of the demon packs. But this is what they look like. Gross. We saw static static ugly thing. Right? Um, you've seen things like it. There were a few um, similar down um, in the um, the Battle of Rapnesh. Um. So those are all that we see, though. Just pretty much is like stragglers of those boys. Like, are there yeah, a lot of yeah. them? Or you see, you can see five from up in the air. You you assume there might be more, but. Um, they, they, they're just the remnants. Um, they're the, like I said, the tracks on the ground and the destruction that was caused on this town. There was a much, much larger um, force that came through here sometime in the past. Do we happen to spot uh, Shimbol's family? Um, no, but they do are congregating around a couple of buildings. The so of the of the remaining structures that are still intact. Um, the three structures, you see several of these demons um, coming in and out of the larger one. Mm. And there's two that kind of flank it off to the side. Two buildings. Alright. We should, uh... We would... Should we try to stealth in and Batman these boys? I like the way you think, Deimos. Okay. Do we see, like, a straggler one or two somewhere? Yeah. So you guys wait a little bit. In being invisible, um, it's not... It doesn't take much. Um, right. Yeah, you wait yeah, a little right. while, and before long, you find yourself sneaking up on, on one. I think we should break its neck, <clears throat> and then... I'll rip open when it's back, and then I'll crawl inside of it, okay? You start her off the back, and I'll pretend you're my slave, okay? <clears throat> I'm the bard, trust me on this one. But we're invisible, Deimos. Oh, fuck. Oh, do you mean uh, you're gonna wear it? Like yes. a fucking costume? Yes, it'd be my meat suit. Holy shit, this is not gonna work, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so... I, I'm gonna like. I'm assuming like Elwin's like there, and like we're gonna like just Batman this boy, like. Okay. I'm gonna like jump out. Hey, you know what? Here, give me, give me, give me 13 seconds as I pull this up. Okay. Okay. So just to give us a slight edge. Oh, I know. Uh, I'm gonna try to to sneak up behind it. I'll land. On the floor. Wait, what's this? So we get a little bit farther, but this is what we're doing. We're like sneaking up on this boy. We we'll even see us. Two office workers are planning ahead for their weekly staff meeting, but what they can't possibly plan for is a surprise. The hell is this? <laughs> Let's watch. It's our super sneaky skills. Okay, <laughs> I'll land somewhere and then I'll uh, I'll okay. walk towards it. I'll walk towards it. That way it doesn't hear my wings flapping as we come up okay. behind it. And when I come up behind it, I am going to cast Euphoric Ecstasy on it. I'm going to touch it in its no-no spot. Okay. So it, it's walking around, and you see it clinging onto um, a small a bone, for, uh, mid-sized bone, with strings of meat hanging off it, just slobbering all over it, just, just like, consuming it. Um, so you walk up to it, and you cast Euphoric Ecstasy. What is that? But you stood on pleasure and pain. I think you stood on pain. Okay, there's the spell. Creature that you touch must make a successful wisdom saving throw or be overwhelmed by feelings of bliss and euphoria. Okay. Alright, so what's the saving throw? Okay. 
Helen? Oh, a DC 30 wisdom save. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Uh, okay. So as he's wait, bad wait, wait, touching wait. it, I will. I'm almost out of sorcery points. I fuck it. I will uh, heighten the spell. Uh, wait, was it, it has to roll it again? Disadvantage okay. on the save. Disadvantage now? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it was okay, So just roll one more time. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, its eyes kind of roll back. It drops the the bone that it was chewing on. It, its eyes kind of roll back, and and you can see it just like its it, its mind just be be um be kind of like consumed with, with thoughts of something else. Um, as your as your hand retracts from its naughty bits, you, it, it sprouts you know a, a moderate sized boner. Great and as deals. as it happens, you see you see it it pop. Like two other things, like off of its, off of other parts of its body. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like one on its elbow, and one on one on its um, it's, it's like its right shoulder. Grab it, Demos, and let's take, let's bring it somewhere where we can kill it. Okay. And yeah, yeah, let's do that. So yeah, I'll I'll grab it, like tie it all up, just get it, and then we like talk to it real nicely as we fly away with it, and then. Okay, so. Yeah, it's. Let's see here. Has this advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and skill checks, makes a wisdom saving throw. Incapac oh, so it's incapacitated until the start of its next turn. Anyway, so in that turn, you grab it and you off. You're you're flying off with it. In that moment, yeah, it kind of it kind of it's it it somewhat struggles to try to break free, but it's still completely just caught up in this euphoric bliss. But we're gonna get it as like far as we can, like away from these other guys, and then we're okay. gonna just hypothetically, quote unquote, very holy-ish, like, um, break its neck, open it in the spine area, pull out <laughs> most of its guts and stuff like that, get, get like some of the bones, and I'm gonna wear it as a meat suit, and he's gonna solder up the back area, and I'm gonna walk around in it as a meat suit. All right, so that's gonna take a little while. To yeah, around the time I win speak over and going like, um, Elvin, Demos, uh, mm. you're good? What's going on? Um, check in with us at some point? Uh, yeah. This is one way. <laughs> I still say it back. I don't know how it works. I'm bad, bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Just, so like, it takes a little while. What's going on at the other side, yeah. It takes a little while. Back at the back at the camp, the rest of you guys are just kind of sitting around, saying, "Kelly's like, I wonder, I wonder what, I wonder what's taking them." I'll be dead. And, um... <laughs> um, um, all right. So is Deimos, that's about is half Deimos, an hour. Is that, is that like a perfect fit for Demos, or do I have to make Demos bigger or smaller? Um, it's larger than Demos was. Okay, so well, that's good because there's like extra extra meat and stuff in them. Can I enlarge Deimos to for a perfect fit? Okay, sure. <laughs> it takes a little bit of experimentation, but you guys finally nail it. Um, all right, Deimos, roll a. <laughs> They'll never tell the difference, guys. <laughs> roll performance check. I'm so good at hey, performance. Hey, Deimos, did you hollow his out and sled yours in? <laughs> It's actually sticking out. It's kind of weird. Holy shit. I'm okay. really good at this, guys. Alright. So you look something that is in the vague shape of this. What do you do? <laughs> I'm going to walk. Oh, wait. Why do we do this again, Owen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to grab one of those tentacle things, and I'm going to like wrap it around my neck. Uh, to pretend that he's like got me in a chokehold yeah. while he leads me. I lead, yeah, okay. we lead him towards the building. Okay. All right, Dude, so you head you over towards the building. Right? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you walk over towards the building. <laughs> um, and immediately one of these other creatures just comes stumbling out of it, just barreling out, and its eyes lock on you. 
and it sees the it sees Elwin with his, his tentacle wrapped around his neck. I pick up the meat, my little meat man, and then I make the head nod, and then I motion this way. I'm like, and uh, I start missing. going like going over this way. Oh no, like, it hurts. We're gonna we're gonna eat an Elwin. Wait, wait, what language is he speak? You speak Abyssal, don't you? You son of a bitch. Okay. Um. <laughs> I took that on like. Oh, I think I got a random thing to learn that language. Yeah. Oh, I speak Abyssal too. With yeah. charisma oh, of nine, this will go great. I forgot. I did. I got Abyssal like on the first session because I just picked a random language. <laughs> it's so this bang creature. Off now. And, and, and very crude and, and sluggish abyssal. You can tell he, these guys are very low on the totem pole. Um, um, he, he points at Elwyn and, and um, shit here. Uh, well, he does that. I'm going to say in abyssal too. Oh no, don't eat me, Mr. Monster Man, even though I'm delicious. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so roll, um, let's see, Elwyn and Deimos, both of you roll deception. He won't even see this coming. Oh! oh perfect once again. Demos is the bard of the You got a 19 with a 20. Perfect. <laughs> he had a 22 perception. And he said Demos crit it. And, um, and Elwyn got a 24. So the the this one, he kind of points. He kind of, he kind of, he kind of points. And, and in rough abyssal, he says... And I say... Pointing at you, Owen. Says, oh I no, but the only, the only way you can eat me is if you come over here to this empty building. We don't want to share. We grow big, um. strong. They grow weak, tiny. Yes. We go now. Eat this one, yes. Yum yum tum tum. Okay. So it kind of shambles say, over with you. I say practically suppository. Euphoria. <laughs> Let's see. Yo, yeah, I still got plenty of spell slots. Okay. But so you, get, you guys before... get out of line of sight of the building? Yeah, before you eat me, let me pleasure you. And I touch you in this no no spot. <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> We're fat man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. In the meantime, so I'm fit. making tea for Shimble and Achilles. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you and, and, and Shimble and Achilles are sitting, and the tree's just hanging out there. Sure. Like, so as it's like in euphoria, like it's there. Like, me and Elwyn are like on top of it, just like slowly cranking its neck so it just breaks. Like, uh -huh. next back. And now we get another meat suit. Elwyn. Yes. Elwyn. Even though I could just go invisible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're masterminds. Okay, so so it's bigger. It's it's quite a bit bigger than you, Owen. It was bigger than Deimos, and it's quite a bit bigger than you. Um, and you're only con what? maintaining concentration on one enlarged spell at a time, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did, Owen, we stitch them together and make one really I get big on your one. Shoulders. Yes. yes, you get on my shoulders. It will I... stick both these bodies together. And little rascals. Yes, we're gonna. It's gonna be. So we're gonna like. Oh, I can't twin enlarge. <laughs> oh, that's right, you can. <laughs> like, I'm thinking we just make a bigger and bigger one of these guys. Yeah, so we, we're like, let's just like solder on like an arm, like an additional arm and like a head, and we'll just make them bigger and bigger. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Meat, All right. Meat suit buddies will go in hand in hand, partner for life. What if y'all has a collar? So. <laughs> so uh, there's about how many more left? We think. Um, uh, at least three. At least three. 
Oh, I got an idea, Deimos. Yeah, what's your... I'm gonna run out yelling, no, no, and you're gonna pretend to chase me, and we're gonna lure all of them out, and as soon as all three of them are out, I'll turn around and just fireball the shit out of them. Okay, so if we poke these guys, how durable do we think they are? Um, or, their, their bodies are quite sh are, are pretty pretty beefy. Like it took you guys a while inside. to hack them apart. Like from if the inside, we fired a fireball like inside of their butthole. <laughs> or mouth. Like straight down the throat. Do we think it would insta kill them? Oh, you know, um, I still have my my staff of fire breath of dragon breath. I think that'll handle it. Okay. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah, something fairly fairly substantial. All right. Okay. Cool. Then I will uh I will go out and I'll chase after him and I'll be like, Oh my delicious, my delicious semi god food. No one can take my delicious semi god food. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be yelling in the abyssal, Please don't eat my delicious meat. Oh, it's so delicious. I want all of it to myself. All right. Unfortunately so, the only way to so eat the remaining... it is in a perpendicular line. <laughs> How so the remaining three of these guys come, come come barreling out. Okay, so so back in the uh, sure, here, all right. So so back where you guys are, a quarter mile away, Kelly all of a sudden holds her hand to her mouth in shock, and she goes, "Oh dear!" And she she points what? at the village, and you see her her pick up um, some sand, and she she waves it in the air and just strews it in the air, and as it happens, a little a little window opens up that that kind of like shows you. <laughs> Renly. <laughs> yeah, like a TV, like a vantage point of what's going on down in the I village. I'm pouring tea and my cup overflows because... What? <laughs> my meat. My meat. No don't one eat my... Don't meat. eat my meat. Don't eat oh. my meat. It's delicious. Um, so you guys are crowding... So up in the... Up in the over by the tree, you guys are crowding around it. Akelia has her, her mouth over her, her... Her hand over her mouth in shock. Um... Renly's like, what? And Shimbo leans in and goes, Oh, they're good. They're very good, those two. Yeah. I... Morty, I turn my back to the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Damus and Ellen, roll me one more set of deception checks. Oh, no. Why would you do this to us? Akili, what are, what are these demons called? That's do pretty you, good for a Damus. What are they called? Yeah, like I asked for commentary from Achilles while all of this is happening. <laughs> Achilles uh, says, I, I have no idea. They're, they're, they're fairly hideous, but it seems Deimos and Elwyn are familiar with their ways. They seem to be completely taken in by their ruse. They're, they're really good that way. Uh, Shimbo goes, they're very good. They're very good. Shimbo is deeply impressed. Um, you beat that, Shimbo. You beat that. So you guys, you guys find yourselves. Um, so when you're running around, and you have a, uh, four of these guys now, one of them being Deimos, and the other three, um, just kind of like shambling around behind you, just like trudging around trying to catch you. So I turn, I turn, oh. and the the disguise is so good, I don't know which one Deimos is. <laughs> so I pull on the <laughs> Deimos together. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait. Can I can I can I grab can I grab him? Do you come and, like, out of the suit? And like. And like pick him up and just be like, so we can like carry these guys to like down like an alleyway, so like they're all lined up. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys make it way down to so a narrow, a narrower street between two buildings, two wrecked buildings. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, Erwin. As soon me. as I get, as soon as I can get all three of them within my dragon's breath, I unleash the demon. Okay. <laughs> On top of that, just just to make sure we really, we really get them. Uh, I probably won't. Well, I mean, it won't do anything compared to that, but I will. Uh, I will uh, flame strike him. All right, go ahead and roll him. Just yeah, just roll the, the damage. They're not going to save. Okay. Um, as as they turn, as you guys, uh, Elwin and Damus, you spin around. You unleash both your fire spells. They they start screaming. Are are, are consumed by the fire. Um, as soon as the wave passes over them, they all, all three of them, are flailing around their skin and their bodies heavily burned and charred, large chunks of them falling off and, and still burning in flame. Um, they're rolling around screaming and, and, 
and just like, bumping into walls, crashing into each other. They're still alive, but they're they're so much on fire that they're they're not really any of any reasonable good. Right. I say we just pepper them down with cantrips. As they're just in that stuff, unless okay. they're real yeah. bad. No, yeah, they're 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 really busted up. So um, over the course of the next few seconds, you guys fire off some fireballs and some sacred flames and that kind of stuff, and it doesn't long before they you drop all three of them down to the ground, and they're just um, big convulsing twitch twitching heaps, right now. Oh shit! Anyway, but we still Batman. I think we actually are Batman. Fist bump, bro. Fist bump. Uh. And uh, after that, I'm going to start looking through the buildings trying to find Shimbo's family. I'm going to say, cute little goat people, are you here? Do you guys know a Shimbo? <laughs> Alright, um, um, as you go in there, you, you do find a couple of small, small goat-inclined looking humanoids um, that are kind of tied up uh uh, like cow, like hogtied, you know, their 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 arms and their feet kind of all all tied together, and um, all of them are young and small. They're they're just little goat kids. Ooh, that's so cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them loose uh, while I'm saying, "Don't worry, I'm I'm here. I come in peace. I am the savior of your kind. You will know me as Elwin, the fire god from the sky. Do you know?" One of your kind that is named Shimbo. He has sent me to rescue you. <laughs> At this point, um, outside the door, you see a sleigh come along, and Renly waves from the from the sleigh. Hop on. Um, Shimbo jumps out, immediately rushes over to the little goat kids, and um, wraps them up in his arms, and um, they're they're bleeding together. <laughs> uh, uh, bleats of joy. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, here's here's one. Of the... <laughs> oh my god! Here's... So um, yeah, Shimbo turns to you after a few moments and and says, "My deepest thanks, my eternal gratitude for uniting Shimbo with his family." Shimbo, I told you we kept our promises. And don't worry, that's not a monster. That's just Deimos. <laughs> Shimbo knows. Shimbo, Shimbo is in great awe of your deceptive prowess. <laughs> Shimbo was very impressed. Shall we go back to the tree? <laughs> well, um, there's Shotgun. no one else, just the, just the three little ones? Correct, yeah. That's all that remains of the village. Oh, okay. Well, Shimbo, it looks like, um, I'm sorry, but these are the only ones left of your village. Shimbo knows. Shimbo, Shimbo, he says, Shimbo will care for these with his own life. However, Shimbo has nowhere to go. He cannot stay in village here. Demons know of it. Where would Shimbo and family stay? Well... Let's go back to the tree. Maybe the tree will know. Okay. <laughs> you guys travel quickly back to the tree. Um, and after a bit of time, it becomes obvious that um, this this whole location, much like the the rest of this this plane even, um, there, there aren't many safe havens. Um, the tree does say that there have been whispers along the wind of, of pockets of... of Celestials and incarnates that have evaded uh, demon capture. Um, he advises that that Shimble might do best to, to find one of those um, the, the the few remaining uh, establishments, a few remaining um, groups that have survived. I I turn into into Yggdrasil and I heal people, including the the bleeding um, uh, kids. And okay. also, I look for golden leaves because I know Ambrose is traveling by by golden leaves, by golden leaves. So I I look around for some and and live in. Oh, maybe we okay. can get your first tree and this tree to fuck and make more trees. I agree, Tom. What? Wait, wait. 
that new um, mode works. So Renly... <laughs> I don't know, actually. So you're looking for... for uh, Renly, go ahead and roll a d20. Alrighty. 20. <gasps> oh, well. Okay, so yeah. They're... they're um, within um fairly close to the village um you know there's it's a it's a mildly wooded area so there are pockets of trees a lot of them dead but you do see a, a similar golden tree uh, of the same species as ambrose um i i look towards it and i'm like uh crap i'm out, out of um speak to trees so i i try to like get um this current tree this tree of the ancestors onto the sleigh and ride it to this other tree so it can talk to the other tree i don't know <laughs> i don't know no the the, <laughs> the, the 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 current tree doesn't want to move he's rooted pretty far on the ground he's big and he's old he's like, I'm like oh. he's he's a i remain he's like a he can move here. now he has a move speed just because you know it's a very it's very slow you can't. it's, it's yeah, very very sleigh. slow get on the sleigh <laughs> We'll, we'll drive you over and bring you right back. <laughs> he, just, he says, Concierge service, says, damn it. He, he says, he'll relocate at his, at his own speed, which is about, uh, you know, uh, a few inches per season. <laughs> Do you want to wind walk? <laughs> that, that, that would double his movement speed. Just Do you have seeds? Ren, they will get you, them for you. He refuses to relocate. He's a dead tree not walking. But what about his seeds? We can make him live on. Oh, says, I have lots of stuff that does that sort of stuff. I have strength to create one remaining seed. How about two? Just as long as it doesn't keep you up for over four hours, then you'll have to consult a cleric. <laughs> hey. Can we talk to the tree? I yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Renly awakened uh, it. Go ahead. Say, it. Mr. Tree, do you not see these cute little goat people? They no, need I see you, them. and you need them. I know but you this. can't stay here. Yeah, you can. I can save them. He says, "My time is so short." He says, um, he says, "If you can plant my only remaining seed in a new location, that would be enough for me." I'm good at planting seed. <clears throat> hey, I'll Rene. do it for you. Do you have 5,000 gold worth of some kind of ruby dust or something of that nature? No, I have I have gold, if that makes a difference. Sure, I see 5,000 gold. And what, what can we do? I can save the tree. In what way? I can sequester him, now that you made him a creature. The it puts him in stasis until the conditions I specify are met. But, but can we just make him not as stubborn so he just goes along with it? It makes him invisible too, and he can't be scried. Yeah, but can we just take him along with us? <clears throat> Why? You know, if, so we can relocate everybody. Can he relocate himself? Just being stubborn. I think we need to talk at him some more. Elwin, Demos, have at uh, it. A true polymorph the tree into a rabbit. <laughs> <clears throat> and, I'll make, and I'll make the DC okay. 42. And I'll make the DC okay. 42 just for fun. All right. So, so the see the the tree is there. It's talking to Demos and Elwin. He says, "The only way to retrieve my seed." Is to pull it from forth from this short branch here. Um, it is trapped within. It is trapped within. And then all of a sudden he turns into a small rabbit. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> Do I reach inside that rabbit now? 
It would. <laughs> I don't know how this works now. I pick up the you rabbit top to, to Rinley. Here you go, Rinley. You wanted to move it. Thank you. Quick, run, run. And I and I. Okay. To the <laughs> you guys, pile, I'll oh, pile into this lane. Yes. Yeah. Did I did I get mastered at uh by casting this set fifty times? Did you master it? Yeah. Oh no. Casting no. Here. No. You, you... Oh no, you um you can misty step uh roll a roll a d6. Yeah, cuz I forgot I don't use spell slots to cast misty step, so Okay, you can you can spell you can misty step 3 inches. I knew it was going to be an inch. If I knew it. <laughs> That's fine. I'll keep practicing. I don't use spell slots for it, so I can cast it as much as I want every day. You can cast it totally in the sleigh, right? Like, you can just keep doing that while you're in it. <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't be a good idea while we're in something that's moving. <laughs> because it's a location okay. in space, not a location inside of something. I mean, if we, if we weren't on planes and if we were actually on planets, I'd just be like, this is all relative, we're constantly moving, but alas, we're not on a planet or on, you know, a flying turtle. Um, never mind. Okay, moving. Okay, where are you guys headed to? Last an hour before it's permanent, so um, I, I, I will I ask Shimble. Oh, that is true. But then, like uh, Shimble, someplace nice with with like about an hour away at this speed. Which way? And this time, preferably, don't send us toward demons. Things. Yeah, what he said. He says, it's, "You uh... seek a place of safety." But no, you, you seek the place of safety, so take us there. He says, Shimble knows only one such place. Lead the way. He says, we would... He says, We would journey to the Vigil of Torm. That's not where we were going in the first place. There's nowhere else is safe. Onward! Can I, can I cast... I ask the, the goddess... Is the is the sled alive? It is not. Darn. It needs recharging like a car, electric car, every night. No, I was gonna cast haste on it. Ooh. <laughs> this thing going twice as fast as it's already going for ten minutes would get us like halfway across the, the continent. <clears throat> okay. So you guys You're coming probably from here ish. Actually, you're, actually, you're pretty close to Torm's Vigil now. You guys have been traveling, so it doesn't take you much longer um, to make your way to Torm's Vigil. I am going to cast an Antipathy Sympathy, but I'm going to do the Sympathy on the rabbit and have it draw incarnates. So if an incarnate gets within like 60 feet of it, it's drawn to the tree. Oh, cool. How long does that last? Um, it will last, I think, 10 days? Yeah. Oh, oh, 10 days. Well, okay. How cool. long does it take Please. us to uh, get to Torms? Um, it'll take a couple hours. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, when we get there, I'll dispel the thingy so that as soon as she puts it wherever she wants it. Okay. Assuming so a few hours... Go, yeah, a few, hour, a few hours go by. Yeah, you can dispel your own, your own true polymorph. If you have Dispel Magic, right? I do. Yeah. So you guys travel, um, and as you approach Torm's Vigil, um, the you can tell that this was once a large, a large like temple ground, um, huge columns and pillars, and um, that. That didn't, and that and the the remnants of of large um, buildings and structures are are struck are placed all over all over. Um, you can tell that was a, a very important focal area of worship and of concentrated um, divine presence. Um, a lot of the structures seem old, very old, older than anything that you've encountered here so far. Um, but you can tell that they haven't. They're they're in sh they're in shambles now. They're in ruins, but not because of their age. It's because of the the damage is recent. It's as if they were destroyed. Um, all over the place, there are bones. The 
evidence of a great war that that um, occurred here. The um, the the corpses and bones are old, um, having the, the the war took place some years past, probably as best as you can tell, you know, maybe in the first invasion. But as you draw closer, um, you go further ahead, you see a light glow, a, a, a pinkish hue coming from uh, a single structure. Um, as you as you approach it, um, you see that the structure is not attached to the ground at all. Instead, it is floating, floating in the air. And this structure is unlike anything you've seen before. Um, partial partially st made of stone um, partially what seems to be um, uh, made of metal there are are um, points to it and there are, are, are filaments and there is an energy that emanates from it um, that seems to keep it afloat and yet the the object seems to be damaged cracked and broken um, sitting in place but of uh, but um unstable how high is it um it's, it's fairly high above the ground it, it's floating um a couple hundred feet up in the air it's large um it's you know it, it's uh, it, from your perspective it's massive um maybe as 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 big as the silver spire was oh shit okay. would i have been able to take a nap on the way a short rest yeah you guys had a couple hours Sweet. Oh fuck. We should probably check that out. This sounds pretty cool, guys. Okay. Um, as you approach, as you get even closer, um, you guys are realizing the the size of this thing as you draw closer and closer to it. And then, um, when you're nearing its base, you know, within within maybe several hundred yards of it, you notice that all along the ground are the corpses of demons. Um, and these are are more fresh. You know, some uh, the base layer is is old. There's rotten, but um, several waves of demons have been slain um, more recently. So it's like, you know, it's it's like almost like sedimentary levels in a in a riverbed. Um, the bodies of the demons that have been slain around this thing. Um, I'm gonna try to go through see if anything happens to me. As you get closer, um, nothing happens. You just approach, and then um, a voice calls out to you. A voice that kind of just splits. It just echoes through the through the heavens, um, and it resonates around you. Why do you come to visit the vigil at all? We have come to seek sanctuary. And to pay tribute to Torm's legacy. May, mainly just to fix the stuff. Yes. What trials have you come through to prove your bravery? Uh, we stopped the whole thing for that demon invasion and devil invasion. We have slain many of the evil forces of Esmodius. We have, de we have, uh, we have rid him of his main general in the prime material realm. We are the destroyers of Ashak. We are the, the, the killers of. It's a little. Uh, Clovis. Clovis. We have destroyed the Tarask, and we have destroyed hey. Malkinteth. Hey, Owen, instead of gloating, why don't you just, you know, point out your niece? <laughs> we also have a cool bunny who's a tree. And we are, in, we are in the company of the goddess Mistra. One of the very few deities that stand in the way of the demons and devils on this plane and and everything else that needs to be saved. We are allies of the gods in this fight against the demons. 
then you may approach. And as you as you draw closer to the vigil, um, you see um, a brilliant, um, hauntingly um, constituted being appear bef in front of the vigil, standing between you and it. Um, a long, glistening, um, spike-like sword held in one of its hands. Oh shit, that's cool. Whoa. Mm. Let's see. You, sir or madam, and or madam, are awesome. Whoa. Oh, is not something I reserve for myself. I am but a servant, the last of the entourage of the god Torm. I before you and the archangel Althuas, foremost amongst this pantheon, and now the last. The only one capable of holding together his domain and defending his heritage. Well, we thank you for your your task. And it looks like we are on the same side. What can you tell us of what has happened here? I know that this realm is in grave peril. In the years since Asmodeus left, darkness has found its way in. The Vigils, the Vigils Three, long and ancient in their power, have begun to fade. This one here. He points to the, the, the broken and stuttering vigil behind him. Once overseen by the god Tom, is one of the only ones remaining in strength. One other still remains and the third has grown dark. These vigils are from an eon past. They predate Torm and Pelor. They come from an eon of gods long past. These vigils are all that link Elysium to Mount Celestia. They hold the realm's anchor together. And now, they begin to fail. With one vigil grown dark, the remaining two can barely withstand the strain. Is there a way to restore the dark vigil? Or empower these two that are left? The dark one would need to be reawakened. Only the act of a god could accomplish this. It is far beyond me or my brethren. Well, then let me introduce you to the goddess Mistra. I motion over to Akalia. Akalia steps forward and says, I. I am indeed, it seems, the only remaining goddess on this plane. I know not of how to reawaken one of these vigils, or to even convert them back to life, but if it is within my power, and if it will save this realm and keep it joined to Celestia as it should be, then I will do it, whatever the cost. The angel shifts forward. Um, a beam of light emanating from it and shining on Achelia. 
and a moment goes by, and then it inclines its head, bowing towards her, and says, You speak truth, goddess of Elysium, key bearer all the rights and powers of this realm, the authority of its domains, are rightfully yours. You will need to claim them, but you are the only one who can wield the might of the Vigils and open up the gateways to Celestia. Hey, Akalia, you should make me your angel. <laughs> she says, Elwyn, I believe in watching you all over the past days that an angel is not appropriate. You, you four, are something more, and I'm not sure what it is. But you have something greater in store for you, I can tell. Well, now that we know that you are the true goddess of Elys Elysium, maybe you should try to take command of this vigil. Maybe that'll enlighten um, the path to our next actions, what we have to do. And maybe this, this great angel angel here can uh, assist us in that. Yeah, could we head up and like check it out and like see what you could do, maybe? Sure. What do you guys want to do? Like, is there an elevator system going up? <laughs> no, you have, to, you have to fly up to it. I will spend <laughs> 10 minutes and, and create an airboat because there are clouds right now, I think. <laughs> So I make sure. a cloud uh, boat, and we can get on it. Maybe transform the sled into some kind of a sled statue, small thing, so that we can take it with us. I don't know. I looked with the I ate it, and then I'm like, upwards, away. Uh, as as um... before we before we do that. Okay, go on. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, the angel. Now we have brought some some creatures from this realm and they have been most of their kind have been brutally murdered by the demons that are infecting this place would it be would this vigil this place uh be safe for them to to hide out in until we are able to restore the plane maybe repair the vigil maybe maybe they're really cute See, who can say no to this face? I don't get what it's really doing. You know, uh, Elwyn, you know angels can tell when you're lying, right? I mean, sincere. I have not said a lie. Yeah. <laughs> the angel, the angel moves forward and says, I fear not. Neither will your mistress be able to take control of this vigil and claim it as her own. For there is another influence in this place. A dark one. A demon of great power. An arch demon. Still roams this plane. He is the greatest threat still. There are no weapons that are a bit too powerful for that. He's way higher up on the list. <laughs> a demon. <laughs> oh, yeah. The angel did they say that, says. Did they say Go devil on? stop coming or demon stop coming in? recently both uh, the whole flow of everything coming into this realm has stopped oh okay i thought there was like one stop before the other one sorry i must have missed no, it's all ones. stopped yeah it's okay. all stopped Does so it says dark one have a name or something you like a nickname or something we could refer to it as beyond the dark one um so the demon the 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 angel pauses and says the great darkness of this land is other than the demon of which I speak. 
it is deeper, it is malignant, and it is the ultimate danger. It aims to destroy this realm and tear it away from Celestia by breaking the power of the Vigils. But that, that is the ultimate goal. That is your lady's ultimate purpose, I perceive. This demon I speak of is chaotic. It is other than the darkness. It is akin to it, but it is much, much less significant. It wanders this plane still, with its endless gluttony, consuming all it encounters. Growing in strength from everything it consumes, it is a force of destruction, tearing life and soul apart, rending them into its own massive form. It is the archdemon known as Tibubo. I'm drawing a blank. So Before your mistress. Yeah. Before your mistress will be able to interact with this vigil, Tibubo's influence must be stopped. It is too close. And its influence is too dark. So this demon dude is close by? Um, that's what he's inclining, yes. Can you it's, get his, his attention? It's, 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 it's dark presence is... It's dark presence is... Is having too much of an influence on the area. Can you, the like, demon uh... will not venture near here. Not until it is strong enough to destroy the vigil and to thrust me aside. It has tried on occasions in the past, but I have rebuffed it. It is biding its right. time. Is it tall? Does it, it is large. Is... Does it have a big dong? <laughs> the angel just pauses and looks at you. Yep, it does. Alright, which direction is he? From here. The angel um, pauses for a second and, r and raises its sword to the north. Alright. In the, the sky. emanates from there. In the sky, approximately like 20 miles to the north. I'm going to sky right in the sky. Something similar to what we did to the last guy with a picture of uh, Elwyn's dong and insult the student. Let me come south so I can kill him. <sighs> Okay, is anyone doing anything else? Um, I am both <clears throat> getting us up. Um, so, Mr. Angel or Mrs. Angel, um, does it have any weaknesses? And also, um, I do believe that uh, Torm left me a set of armor that is uh, supposed to fix together. It's Don't worry, I just said it was okay. Damus. No, I, I, I'm like 74% sure it could be a possibility. <laughs> so you're hoping it's not like it happened, but you're hoping. And I'm you... like fairly confident that it could be a possibility. So, fr so phrase yeah, it this it way. So phrase it this way. Did did Torm happen to leave a set of armor that I might possibly be able to borrow for the coming encounters that we may face here? You know what, Damos? Damos, you're Damos. You're before when you first made this character, so a long time ago. Yes. Um, before the God breaking, what was your original deity? I believe it was Tear. Was it Tear? Okay, so it wasn't Torm. It was Tear. Yeah, it wasn't Torm. Okay. Yeah, he, the he angel says Tear is um, Temple Place thingy. Yeah, so the angel um, looks at you, Damus, and says, "I accompany Torm on all his activities and was privy to all his knowledge." I am certain of the fact that Tom had never heard of you. Oh, 
Okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's no big deal. It's, I pat you on the back if you cry. I'm just going to get in this boat with my tiny whiteies and just see what happens. Fair, fair. Do you have a door <laughs> that leads us directly to, to Tyr's vigil? Because he, he is a former priest of Tyr and maybe there's a legacy there for him. But just maybe, like, do you have a door that goes to the other vigils? Maybe? You know, because they were bros for life? Maybe? The only way to Tears Vigil from here is to take the Celestial Road. And he points to the road. <laughs> it's a golden road, isn't it? It's a yellow brick road. Yeah. Oh my right. god! Um, okay, um, so... Then we know what we must do. We must defeat this darkness so our goddess can unlock this vigil. In order to do that, yeah. do you mind if we rest here? Pre gather our strength. You are welcome to stay here as long as my strength remains. I have defended this vigil for years, and I will continue to do so. And when we are conducting our mission, when we are off to battle, will you allow our friends here, again I put, point to the cute little goats and our rabbit I guess that we have now, um, can we leave them here under your protection while we uh, complete our, our mission? No harm will befall them while I yet draw breath. Thank you again. Did this angel tell us its name? I'll yeah, choose. It did, but I forgot. Alright, I'll dress it by name and ask if you can do me a favor. Okay. And I will draw forth from my bag of holding a very ominous and evil looking ass black book and ask the angel if it would rip it apart, please. Destroy it? All he has to do is rip it in half. Unless it, it would cause okay. you trouble and make you develop a shorter knife. Then, no, you know, we can pass It's the Book of Vile Darkness. It can only be destroyed by an angel. Mm. A true angel. Um, the angel regards it and says, I sense great evil emanating from that book. Oh, yeah. But only your kind can destroy it. Then hold it to four, and I will strike it from this world. I hold it up. Um, yep. It raises its sword, um, and in one glorious motion, um, a, a, um, a sword strike that could split the heavens, um, it crashes down upon it, and, uh, and, and, and a, a blazing light just ripping through it. The book, um, it like shudders at, uh, under the impact and it splits apart and you can feel like each page vibrating and almost as if it's and, and squirming and screw and, and, and shrieking almost as if it were a thing of, uh, that had a life of its own. Um, and then the, just like the demons that you guys have been killing, um, the book just falls away into nothingness. Hells yeah. Thank you. If that demon okay. were heading this way, would you be able to tell? He comes not. Oh, he is not so strong enough yet enough. to break the vigil. All right. Uh, could you? I asked the angel to describe him in like as intimate detail as he or she or it can, so that I become familiar with it. It is large and grotesque. It floats above the terrain. Drawing, uh, taking everything in with its hideous eyes, consuming all it encounters. You would know it when you saw it. Alright, I'm going to use a third level spell slot, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, and with Elwyn's help, I am going to cast Sending four times and 
try to piss this fucker off. <clears throat> so I'll let Elwyn give me the lines. Elwyn with what? What are you doing? I'm gonna cast Sending to the demon to try to piss him off. But I'm gonna let Elwyn dictate the lines, because he's good at the shit talking. He's good at pissing off demons. Okay, hold on here. Sending. It de depends on how you consider familiar. If all you need is a name, then that's great. Send a short message of 25 words or less to a creature with which you are familiar. The creature hears a message and its mind recognizes you as a sender. If it knows you and can answer in like manner immediately. Okay. So what are you saying? What are we saying, Owen? You did a good job of pissing off the last guy and getting him to come and fight with us. Um, the message is going to say, Enjoy You've got a hundred words. Enjoy your last few hours of the corruption you have brought in this realm. Because you see that dick in the sky? It's coming up your ass, buddy. Um, oh, but he probably can't see it too. The um, as you send it off into the distance, um, the response comes, and uh, the response is, it's an emotion, it's a feeling more than, more than a message, and as as it happens, you can tell that the spell that you sent in its direction, um, was broken, torn apart, consumed. The very arcane energy that you released in doing that was was slathered up and and and, and devoured. The on, on the first one, on all your sending spells. Okay. Um, yeah, it just it just ate up the the, the spell slots. What a so dick. what were the uh, three third levels and one fourth level? Uh, three fourth level and one third. Okay, those spell slots for you are have gone dark. Um, you you cannot regain them. Um, through any normal Fuck. means. Wow. The, um, and in that and in that moment, you all you hear feel is the ravenous hunger and gluttony. Uh, it's, it's a wave of emotion just uh, that that washes over you and shakes you to, um, shakes you to your core. Wow. Hey, Owen. What's up, dude? This dude's dude. a dick. What do you say? Uh, he said that you have a tiny penis and that he was going to rape you in the ass like he was doing to this poor little goat dude at the moment. What? Those are fighting words. Demos. Get him sick my name. <laughs> Gather your strength because okay. we are going to nuke. Oh, also, this fucker eats magic, by the way. What's magic? What? Yeah, um, I feel like, and I'll describe in whatever fantasy terms it'd be, the equivalent of Luby losing four spell slots permanently. What are your spell slots? No, I'm describing it whatever the in-game equivalent would be. What's I don't get this magic thing. But you're a mage. What are you talking about? How do you not get it? You're a mage. I'm a wizard. Yeah, a okay, wizard. let me rephrase. W wizard spell slots. Your powers go bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, so basically, what we're saying, Deimos, is you're the only one that can kill this fucker. Oh, I, could, I mean, I don't want to kill anything. And but, and I mean, Deimos, he said he wants to rape Elwin in the ass. That is a no go. It's and no -go, and right? he, and siphon his magic out through his butthole. <laughs> You had me at safe and out of his butthole. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, Renly, you guys were not able to approach the vigil as you guys tried to. Um, it's, it's, it's locked off. Um, the only, only um, beings of the divine of the divinity that claim the vigil that own the vigil um, can approach it. Okay, so air boating not an option. Okay. Okay. All right. 
so um, next, okay, so um, oh, and left imprinted on your mind, Adis, um, was the image. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh, I'll I will make a uh, I'll do a I'll do a uh, what you call it major image of him, and ask the angel if this is the douchebag. And and how did you stop it? By the way, like when it came to attack and it wasn't strong enough, like how did you manage to? To kind of like get it to go away. Did, did you see what she just did to that book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just trying to. I'm wondering about the theory, like the magical theory behind it. Considering arcane. You just lost he eats magic, arcane. So. He eats arcane magic. By harnessing all the power that remains within me of the god Torm. But the demon's power grows and mine wanes. It is only a matter of time before he will overcome me. Can we borrow that power? Oh, don't worry. We're going to bring his head back for you. Of course you can't borrow the power. <laughs> Can you give us a minor gift? Of, um, why don't we just walk out there really fast and beat his ass and come back? Um. Or can we have your minor blessing? I, I, I do ask uh, Alt Altrus, um, like, what exactly powers his ability to to absorb other power? Like, as in, like, where does this stem from? This, this strange ability to absorb everything? This is his nature. A being of endless gluttony and consumption. It knows nothing else, it desires nothing else, than to feed. Is there any part of its form that if it were destroyed, would just outright kill this thing? Like, say, I... with mortals, if you take out their heart, they die. I know not. Alright. Okay. Cool. Uh, Alrighty. Uh... So All right, we guys. get a long rest and then we'll head yeah, off. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to long rest before we go because I need I need a uh, big daddy dragon form for this fight if I ain't gonna be able to use magic. Oh, you can use magic. <laughs> it's just yeah, gonna no. have interesting effects. <laughs> oh, I yeah, know it. Just use it permanently. It'll be great. Damn, was just gonna be so happy to cast anti magic field on himself, and then just try to see what happens. He'd eat your anti magic field. Mm -hmm. -uh. Did you know anti magic field is literally a contradiction? <sighs> anti magic no. field. It's an anti -magic yes, it is. Field. It's it a is magic a magic that spell. Magic, but yeah. how does it exist? Yeah. yeah, so yeah. how does it exist? It's like a magnet. It's a buffer zone. Yes, but, but you know what the, a feral the, buffer zone is? It's but actually. You cast it on yourself and you yeah. are within the field. Well, it's like magnetizing yourself. You have a buffer zone around you, which creates like the force around you to remote the sex that never. No, but waves. based on its effect, since spells right. can't be cast on you, like even if you're inside a mag anti magic shell that you cast, you can't cast a spell on yourself. Which yeah. means spells can't exist on you. That's not true according to standardized physics. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're talking about the magnet. Alright. Alright All right, guys, so I'll see you guys next week. Uh, yep. Sure. Thanks, Thanks Monday. Monday. Oh, oh, do, we, uh, do we rest? Uh, you, weird, yeah, you'll have to um, rest near. You can, yeah, you can rest near the vigil. The angel will protect you. Alrighty, let's do that, people. Hold on, before you do go, I want to go. So I lost three third level because I'm gonna put these as pack magic slots so that I know because I don't really have any other way. But you say three fourth it. level and then one third. Yeah, I lost that's what, that's what one you said. third and three fourth level. Yeah. Yep. So the pack magic slots are the slots I've lost. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, Thank see you guys next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Later. Awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Take care, guys.